Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Calvisham. Let's chat a little. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't think we've come across all the party members. So presumably we'll be naming people today. I don't know how far we'll get before we name somebody. Could be minutes. Could be seconds, could be hours. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. See ya. Uh, I'm trying to recollect what we were doing last. We were given a mission, I think, from the Chateau. I believe I have to go look for another passageway. And if I'm not sure, I could just go back to the Chateau. So I think we'll do that. I know at one point we were, we went through the mines, we went through, did the communication tower thing, we had the awkward monologue. I don't know if there's anything explicitly after that. We might have stopped before we went back in and did anything. So I think maybe we were just reporting actually more specifically to the town first. Sounds about right. This is the Reaper's power. This is the Reaper's power. Hopefully everybody's doing well. I did not sleep well, sadly. <laughs> so I'm like, sort of waking up. As chat can see, I brought back the chatbot. What an annoying process that has become. Hopefully you're doing well, Chris. We'll get there eventually with the loading screen. There we go. See, so yeah, I think maybe... I don't think we talked to the people that originally told us to go there. So I'm assuming I just have to report that uh, his tower just got messed up. Back to the other family. <laughs> Title every time. <laughs> why, why did they do that? Why did they put the intro on every load? Actual insanity. Rough day, little sleep, and maybe sick. Aw. Uh, Actually, I think this is the house. Ah, oh, I know what we have to do. Let's make sure Telepath's Tower em Empathy can't be used for a clandestine broadcast. Again, the word clandestine is interesting. Don't worry about that now. Don't worry about the terrorists. Do something. Oops. Yes, the terrorists use the Telepath Tower for their broadcast. Does that make our family responsible? Yes. Yes, it does. This is unbelievable. Now those rats are using the telepath tower for their own purposes. And not just the tower either. Hope they don't use the booty call for their misdeeds. Why did they call it that? I feel like kicking them. This is for calling it that, old man. <laughs> At least now I can just generally assault people. <laughs> Strange woman in costume says, Hey, you! Wait, wait, I say! I take it you wish to capture those vile terrorists. If you do, you'll listen to me with utmost care. We're in a hurry. Catch us next time. You don't seem to know your place in the world, little girl. Vicky, too. Do you know something about them? I saw a gullwing class plane flying east from here. As far as I know, no country has used that type of flying machine since the Slayheim Liberation Army. So, you should be able to figure out the rest. Is it Odessa, the terrorist organization? But why would you know such, so much about such things? And why would you give us the information? Wait, before that, who are you? I can't believe how stupid you are, Bashley. Beware of ultraviolet rays. I'll tell you my face and name from within the protective costume. You should remember. Oh no. 
Oh no, chat. We do have another nameable character. That took that took only a couple minutes. <laughs> I mean, am I totally surprised? No. Well, anyway, chat, you gotta name the person that is trying to hide from the sun. That did not take long at all. That is certainly something. I think we were looking for Mount Chug Chug or something ridiculous. I see. I will remember that name. I don't remember the the context. They just called it that and tried to have a normal conversation, like that was a totally normal thing to talk about. And I didn't believe it. So I mean, she's kind of like. I wonder if she's a vampire. She looks very pale. She's the costume stranger. Hmm. Recluse Vampire Stranger. Hmm. Trying to decide from those that I want. think maybe stranger okay chat chat feels more chat likes gremlin let's call it let's call the character gremlin there we go here's gremlin well do you remember bashley not really and how do you know my name? So you don't remember, huh? Well, I guess you wouldn't. Oh well, it's not a big deal, I guess. I'll leave the other matter up to you. Uh-oh, we're at our Kodak again. Villain says, it's me, from Damza. Where you are? Where you are? Wait. Did he meant to ask, where are you? Oh no, Chad, they don't even have word order, correct? That's kind of bad. Ashley says, is this about the flying machine heading east? How did you know that? Just found out here in this town. Well, what should we do? They must be the terrorists who issued the communique. Odessa. They must have tampered with Telepath Tower somehow. They're trying to get away. Your next mission is to stop Odessa in their tracks immediately. Understood. One more thing. Although I am commander of arms, I want you, Bashley, to take command when the time comes to fight. Me? Need the attack? That's right. After all, you're the team leader. Yes, sir. I'll commence the pursuit of Odessa at once. Again, like, what did that really add to the plot? Like, he didn't tell us anything. Yeah, huh, indeed. Like, thanks, bro? It's one thing if, like, Kodak... So, like, I feel like they're misusing the Kodak, I guess that's what I'm saying, is, you know, it should at least be, like, you know, I'll look into this, maybe I'll find out more information about her, um, maybe, maybe give him some foreshadowing to something. Also, what really bothers me, Chad, I got distracted by this. If I hit L1, the camera rotates to the right. I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> I am not I am not an inverse person. If I hold R1, I want the camera to spin in that direction. Holy, that is actually really confusing to me. Um, so that was the bonus area. I'm assuming we do something up here for Mount Chug Chug. Although nothing is occurring, sadly. Oh wait, hold on. There we go, now we're going... Because, you know, we had to be told about Mount Chug Chug. We couldn't see the mountain chat without someone telling us about it. Truly, we are the genius level adventurers. 
Feel the menace of a monster's howl? Um... Uh, 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 okay... I guess we do something with that later? The transfer tunnel to Selge region? Entry payment to all those without the boss symbol. Oh, okay. So I guess we gotta... Okay, hold on. Let me write this down. It's important I come back here later. Um, revisit Mount Chug Chug near communication tower needs boss symbol that feels very literally translated I'll take some fights I guess I do like feeling in between areas seems to reset the, the counter. Okay. There's a chest up there. If only she could actually cast an ability. She's like three levels from being useful, chat. This is so sad. I'm hoping I just one-shot everything, and her actions don't matter, because she's never going to kill anything. Spoiled Brat? That's the name of the attack? Okay. Oh, Thesaurus is getting outsped pretty hard. Oh, and he got confused? At least it's not like the other game is confused. He'll at least hit the enemy still. Experience, a little bit of money, more roses. It's like a, is that an elevator? Yeah, it is. The lift is stopped. Okay. Oh, chest. Headgear acquired. Uh, I mean, I already feel our part. Wait, did Confuse? Confuse doesn't. Oh, maybe it's Forgetfulness. Hold on. It might not be Confuse. Oh, yeah, it's not Confuse. Uh, where's the other one? Boy Hammer. That's actually kind of annoying. I think I lost XP with him. Oh, well. Hmm. Wait, he can't make that little jump? Why? Is, is there a reason? Uh, I'm gonna try this again. I don't know if I was supposed to go up a little railing. We're fighting spud heads? That's a choice. At least we're getting an okay amount of cash, because I would like to upgrade our other guns, in particular Bazooka. Since that's probably going to be our boss kill for early in the game. I, I don't know, Chad. I feel like he should have... Okay, in a game where I can drop down and go other places, I feel like something that's about up to his neck, he should be able to climb. I'm sorry, Chad. That really bothers me. Annoying. Very arbitrary one way. 
It's like when we were playing, uh, what was it? Uh, Oni Musha Dawn of Dreams. With Roberto not able to, like, literally just go on, like, this little tiny platform until the ladder was lowered. Even though he's, like, way taller than where he needed to be. Buried alive, okay. I guess that was a magic attack, because she took less damage. I mean, it did very little damage. Oh, there is another exit here. Okay, I didn't see it right away. I was like, I'm assuming I had to miss something. Oh, I just remember it. I forgot to check to see if we named everything. So we're, we're gonna go back and name people once we're done with this area. Or we'll wait till next town. I have some names I wanna make sure that are in there. Spell-wise, I mean. Kicked a minecart down there. Interesting. Okay, red item. And another exit. Helenio? Oh no, you're a dodging enemy? That's not good. They're, they're very slow though, surprisingly. Just fight their evasion. Pickpocket, this shouldn't matter. Dealing a revive fruit is annoying, but he should just die here. Reacquired our revive fruit. Nice. So Vicky's very close to leveling. No one else really is. How does that not activate the chest? Okay, there we go, Crest. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I had to take like half a step closer. Hit detection, please. What's over here? Okay, there's like another hole. The lift is stopped. Okay. So presumably we gotta start the lifts back up. So hopefully we just outspeed. It'd be nice if she did do enough damage to kill, but it probably won't happen, sadly, even with the level up. You just have to hope the Thesaurus outspeeds every enemy. Vicky at level 10. She got like 60 more HP, it's pretty solid. Oh, so you can drop in the holes. Oh, uh, so that's how you get to this other lift. Okay. So I imagine because I kicked a minecart down here, I'm going to just follow the tracks that we saw earlier? Uh huh. Okay. Turn the leave turn the start lever on. Leave it as is. Let's turn it on. Lever won't move. I'm gonna kick it. Alright, it did something different this time. Ashley dot dot dots. Something's stuck in a crack between the equipment. If I take it out, it'll be fine. Let's try the lever. What a beautiful crystal. Welcome in parameter. It's sparkling. Pass through a light, it'll reflect seven colors on the other side. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I almost forgot that's what you named the other character. Cliche, like stuff like this. Of course she would like like going through the prisms. Chad, is anyone surprised Cliche likes that? Of course she does. Empathet acquired. Set of noise reverberates through the mines. The work lift is working. Hmm. I mean, is there a point to the... Okay, so, so now we take the world's saddest little detour, that, which honestly we shouldn't have to do. So again, we're just building money for the rocket launcher at the moment. Please don't hit me with a million status ailments. Okay, good. I don't even know if mute affects him at all. I could cure it just to cure it if I want to. So there's a few different lifts I can take. I don't know which one it wants me to take though. No, that doesn't look right. Also, the downside of rot rotating the camera. I lose track of where I was. So there's the lift there that I could reach. Maybe I just take this one? Or do I take the... You know what? Let's take the long detour one and see what happens. Camera angle, please. Or does this just literally only take me back to the same spot? Let's see. I just have to know, like, where does this go? Oh, somewhere new. Oh, did- Oh, did I actually find the boss in one try? Uh, do I go back? I guess I do. I mean, I want to see what the other places are. Right, chat? Oops. I went for the one that seemed more like the hidden item. I mean, I, I think I do want to see what else is here. So, oops. I figured the more annoying path would be the treasure room, to be honest with you. So there's still one other elevator we could take. There's one in the other room as well, and I'm not sure where that goes. Maybe it just brings up into the hole there. Actually, yeah, let's let, let's try taking that other elevator first. Let's go in order. Change my mind. Because there should be one in this room, right? I thought in the corner. See, so yeah, I thought this is the one that it wanted me to take. Oh, so that, oh, those rooms are connected. Oh, I understand. Never mind. Okay, so we, we don't have anywhere else to explore then. Simplifies it. I thought that I thought that one was going up rather than down. I guess it I guess it makes sense. Bonk. Look at this power sliding everywhere. Like a beast. Sounds like it's boss time. One-eyed giant, indeed. Power slide. What a hassle. What a losing proposition. It's dangerous here. It's a good chance terrorists are hiding in the mountains here. I already know that. Huh? That's why I said I know. Wait, what? 
Wait, he answered- wait, he answered a question that no one asked. I feel like that's- I feel like that was a translation, like, train wreck there. I think what is supposed to have happened is... Implying that he is the terrorist, but it, like, missed the line in between. Because we just did five exclamation marks, and then and then he answered something where we didn't say anything. That felt really weird. This one is, so that's what you mean. I get it now. A terrorist. Not a monster confronting humans. What? Oh, chat, what happened to the translation? Did they fall asleep today? Not a mo- Like, how was anything we just listened to natural dialogue? That was really awkward dialogue, and it's still going. The thread told Antonora. She said someone's been following us. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? Yeah, translation, please. Oh, no, come on. Please don't make me name him. Game, please. Oh, no. He turned into a monster. That's better. He's wielding a keyblade or something. Look out! Oh, it's a claw. Special Cactus Squad member... Ptolemia? Ptolemia? Okay. My luck stinks. Why do I have to be involved? Or I could say you're all in luck. I mean, you got me for an opponent. Come on. Show me what you've got. Uh... Oh, I never restored my bullets. Oops. Well, that should be fine. Remind me to do that. Oh, so all abilities are blocked when you're silenced. Okay. Because before, before, if you remember in Wild Arms 1, in my defense, silence doesn't stop gun. We talked about that last time. So what I could do is I could Kirk Weapon Bashley. And then I could use her to cure the other character, so that way I don't lose a turn. And I can have her bullet load the other character if I really need to. Cure Mute. Okay. So that's my fault for coming in with the status ailment. I did want to see if it actually blocked me or not. And I think this does okay damage, so it's better than using our normal shot. And we'll give him a buff if he's going to be forced to melee, which I think is fair. Attack up 36, nice. Float to me a dynamite? Okay. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. How much is that going to do? Oh. That is a rather significant amount of damage. I would like to lock on with Bazooka. And you should probably just start heal spamming every turn, if able. And if I need to, the other characters can heal themselves. Thank you, Guardian Angel. See, we got a little few- we have a few more turns of bullets. So it's not like I'm coming in completely bulletless. And then we'll melee him to death with Kirk Weapon. I'd like to not spend our clips yet, if we could avoid it. Okay, big damage. She got struck. I'm glad we healed with her. So she should live another hit. Use our last bullet there. We'll melee. We're gonna heal... probably Bashley. Man, an AoE heal would have been real nice, right, chat? <laughs> Goodbye, our bullets. Nice, right, so he's about to do big damage to herself. So the Saurus will heal himself. Vicky will heal herself. Ashley will just attack. I think that's the right call. Actually, let me do that in the other order. Let me have him heal the other character. And then you could just bazooka with lock on. I think that makes more sense.
Well, I'm glad I got HP ups, I guess. Well, that done my move is rather annoying. So as long as we get like one more bazooka strike out, I think we're fine. So I'm not sure how close to dead he is, so I'll play it safe here. So he just needs to lock on with bazooka again, and then she just needs to heal herself. And then I'd like to go all out maybe next turn, because we've done about... I don't know, like 2600 damage, I think? We bazooka twice, we hit two times with 300 attacks and a 160. It's like 2100 maybe? This will be 2800-ish. So I imagine he can't be too... too much more to beat. Speaking of which, 750 XP, nice. If Judica was your opponent, you'd all be toast now. You're very lucky your opponent was sweet old innocent me. He dot dot dots, dot dot dots, dot dot dots. Well, it's time, isn't it? Don't want to get a left behind. Who are you? Listen up. We're the Odessa Special Unit. Platoma and his fun friends. <laughs> Certainly in the name. Silver-haired key user says, Don't mess with me, Plato Platonia. Guy with glasses says, Even so, are you really going to let them go? Weren't they that other group who was trespassing in Illsvale? Were they some vigilante force from a small town? There were girls in their group, too. Should we shoot them here on the spot? We've got time to kill until Verukius heats up. Red-haired girl says, is she red hair? She just looks brown haired, honestly. No senseless killing. How many times do I have to tell you? She dot dot dots. Looks like Rukius is ready for departure. Let's go. Hey, hey! I haven't finished my introduction. There's the four of us. Just a special Cuctus Corps. We're broadcasting clandestinely. Since we didn't have contact, let's at least do some bold propaganda. Yeah, that definitely looks brown. Ha <laughs> Wait! And her voice says, Stretch out your arm and reach it, if you still have the strength. This voice again. There we go, that's a ship design. How does it propel itself forward? Like, are there jets in the- Oh, oh pfft, okay. Just warp speed. Sure thing. <laughs> Who? Who's speaking to me? Whatever you say in her voice. Yeah, I was gonna say. Who is it? I didn't even see flames or anything. It just propelled itself through sheer willpower. It was giving me, like, Seto Kaiba on his Dragon Plane vibes. Shoot! I thought we had him. They flew off. We can't even t touch them. That's all too obvious, says Villain. But it wasn't only the enemy flying machine that got in our way. What do you mean? The border problem. Know what I mean, says Thesaurus. Now I see. Very smart. Even if we had a plane there, the border would have stopped us. It would have been trouble for violating their airspace. Only outlaws can fly wherever they want, when they want. I don't understand. Even though we're doing the right thing, why do things like that get in our way? People live by closing their hearts tight. Walls of the heart become invisible lines which divide the world. That is what borders are. Just as hearts are separated, so is one country from another. It's sad, 
But all we can do is work hard to change what we can. Actually, I feel like giving him more of a Pegasus voice, to be honest with you. It's got the silver hair thing going on. Don't fret over what you can't change. I have an idea about the matter. You all wait until preparations are complete. Let's break up for now. Yeah, yeah. We're just waiting for you to turn evil. Let's all be honest, chat. What do we do now? I don't have anything to do. Hang around here. Me too, I guess. Hey, Bashley, what about you? I'm going back to the town of Maria. Oh yeah, picked up a pretty stone. Are you gonna give it to Cliché? Well, yeah, think she'll like it. Hmm. Hey, will you tell me? Bashley, are you and Cliché lovers? What are you talking about? Of course not. Oh no, it's one of these relationships. Okay, okay, just checking. Why do you ask? Forget I asked. Hey, Bashley, where are you going? Oh, I guess. Oh, I know, I guess you're going to see Cliché. Well, you ought to get going. I could do other things than work, you know. As long as you have a break, you might as well take it. Uh oh, we're on a solo adventure, Chad. I think this is the most the party has disbanded so far in a Wild Arms game. We only really split up in the other game with the tower. When the other party member got injured. And already we just decide to go, eh, we don't need to be together. It's fine. I do miss the ability to warp out of places, though. Like, we have the one where we can warp between towns. That's not quite the same. It's like we only have half of what makes the, the teleports useful. Alright, uh, so let's check to see if we can get more spells for people. Hey, dude, how's it going? Hey, Hostoff. You too, Vacant. Hiya, hello. How are you guys been? Fit as a fiddle and raring to go. Of course, old hello here has other things on his mind. <laughs> I love hello. Hey, Hostoff, don't tell him. Why not? After all, he's our buddy, right? Hello is head over heels for some girl. All of our wonderfully named characters, exactly. Hello says, no, you've got it all wrong. Oh, yeah? Says who? Wow, says with the Z and everything. Woo. Fan yourself down, chat, with that translation. All right, just settle down, both of you. I don't have time for this, thanks, Bashley. All she did was talk to him. Now his head's in the clouds. I said you're wrong. Just wanted to thank her for what she did. She ha she was nice to you. Now you have a crush on her, right? No, you don't know Jack. Knock it off already. Hey, Vacant, do something about this guy, would you? In my humble opinion, Ashley is in a hurry. I'm on leave for a bit. You came back just because you're on leave. I don't think so. You came to see Cliché, right? Now hold on a minute, Vacant. I, I was just... I... You should have said so, dude. I wouldn't have held you up. Don't waste precious time. You have to see her. You've got it all wrong. Cliché and I. It's not like that between us. Just go, dude. I know you want to see her right away. Now listen up, all of you. You've got it all wrong. Hope it works out between Bashley and Cliché. You're not the aggressive type, so that girl's perfect for you. In my humble opinion, it seems Bashley is about to make a class change. Huh? 
A class change? What's that? Yeah, wait, what? And he laughs. Are we gonna get a class change? I mean, that we do have titles that didn't do anything in the first Wild Arms. I know, that was just kind of random. Cliché, I'm back. Is it okay to be here? Aren't you on a mission? I'm on leave for a while, so, you know. Also, what's going on with that painting? Kind of reminds me of, like, Vash the Stampede from Trigun. Only really depixelated. <laughs> it's got, like, a red overcoat, a gun in the air, blonde hair. If I knew you were coming, I would have prepared something. That's okay. Cliché, I have something for you. It's very pretty. What is it? It's called Empathite. They say it has the power to transmit thoughts. I don't know if this tiny piece could do that. Can Cliché get a class change in that Cliché? Here. I don't think so. What? You mean? I want you to have it, Cliché. Are you sure? It'll be useful if I get kidnapped later and then I'll just talk to you randomly. That's why I came back. What do I need it for anyway? Wow, this is great. Ashley? Yeah? Thank you. Um, Bashley? Oh, never mind. It's nothing. Thanks for the empathite. Yeah, like, from there, it looks more like him, for sure. Right, so let's leave. I want to restock my items. Okay. Can I upgrade the other character's equipment if they're not here? So we'll find out later. I'm gonna guess no. Alright, it's pretty cheap to upgrade for more damage. I should just do it. Even if I don't max it, it's probably for the best. Slavery only in this game, maybe. Hmm. That's pretty cheap to improve its accuracy. I might as well just do that, actually. 83% is not a bad hit odd. It's like playing Hue Cast. Alright, so that's out of the way. Let's go back to the magic shop. Welcome, Murphy. Let's see what other spells we can make. Interesting. Maybe... I have stuff to do with that later. So we have Murphy's spell already. What did we miss? Angel, X Spidey Gray. Actorial. Guess I don't have a hell cleave yet. Oh no, I do in the corner. Uh maybe I got everybody then? Stutters. I guess I could do one for Charlie. Placeholder. I'd like to get better spells, but we'll see what happens. That is sad that it's like a one-time use thing, though. So we have almost all the basic spells named. We only have two slots left. So, progress? Question mark? I don't think I have anybody else's name written down that stopped by during the playthrough. So that's fun.
I don't even know if I care about this spell cap bonus, to be honest with you. I mean, if we're using gun, it didn't really seem to impact gun damage very much. Either that or I low rolled. Alright, so this only reduces FP uses by one. So, critical might not be too bad on our characters. First remaining FP into HP. I'm assuming this just means I auto heal, which could in theory be useful. But I probably want to do physical damage up. And then I can ignore basically the entire bottom half of it. Like, all these resistances are for at the end of the game. I don't think I want any of them early. And I don't think he has any magic attacks. So I need to save up four points for auto, for physical attack, I mean. Okay. So I don't think it's possible to get every skill, but I guess we could see. Do I just leave town? Do I go see anybody? Do I talk to the king? Yeah, so he still doesn't... Oh, wait, he said proceed to the audience chamber. Okay, never mind. We're making progress, so I did have to go here. Talk to you first. Queen Margaret passed away before you are born. The king fell into such a depression that I feared that very end of Miria Buell. Sure. King says, until now... Wow, he doesn't even have a name. He's just king of the place. That's awkward. Till now, I've mourned my dear late wife, Margaret. And at least she, who so desired peace, did not have to witness these recent events. I must look on the bright side, lest the sorrow be unbearable. Oh, that's it? Well, then I guess we just try to leave. You haven't named the king yet? Oh, no. <laughs> he'll, he'll become King Ashtray, I have a feeling. So I guess we just try to leave. Presumably, we just meet up with everybody. Once we get them back in the party, maybe I can equip some spells. There we go. There you are. I thought you'd be here. What's up? Why did you come together like that? We have to go back. Our next mission's been decided. Bashley? Bashley dot dot dots. Don't worry. Everything will be alright, cliche. I guess so. Besides, I have the stone now. With this, it'll be like I never left. Bye. Alright, we're immediately turning around and restocking our ammo. I would have liked to have done that earlier, but uh, they just rejoined the party now. Oh, 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 don't teleport me here. That's rude. I didn't restock my stuff. As you can see, international cooperation is a serious problem. So I have letters from the King of Miria Buell asking for permission to operate in other countries. Silverland is friendly with Miria Buell, so we'll go there first. Your next mission is to take this letter to the Queen to Silverland. How do we get to Silverland from here? Use the life energy transporter called the Live Reflector. Live Reflector? The Live Reflector? You mean the lost technology? There is an old reflector southwest of here. I want you all to try to get it working again and secure a way to Silverland. Hmm. Hmm. In other words, we're on our own. That's one way of putting it. I guess so. And where do we take the all-important letter? Silverland Castle is located in the center of Sylvan Woods. Straight outside the live reflector. You won't have tr any trouble finding it. However, you could be attacked by Odessa. Whatever happens, you must deliver the letter. Letter acquired. Bonk. 
Are you really gonna make me walk out of this place over and over? Man, chat, I am dying for a teleport to get out of areas. This is the kind of stuff I was happy we didn't have to do in Wild Arms 1. Like, look at this busy work just to leave again. Like, you teleported me here and you didn't even have the courtesy of making me leave. Ridiculous. I mean, fortunately, I kind of remember the way. So sad, Chad. If only we had escape rope. So now I gotta go back to the other town, sadly, because they didn't let me restock the other characters. So that was ultra rude. FP cost down might be more useful for the spellcaster. We'll see. Make sure our bazooka ammo is capped. Alright, so now we restored our ammo. This costs like nothing to increase the accuracy. So sure, why not? In case I just want to blind fire it into regular enemies. Um, let's get one more bullet for this gun. It's probably worth it. Yeah, when it's like 200 a bullet, I might as well as get it. I'm hoping that this does not make... Oh, it does charge me to reload. That sucks. Well, anyway, our main guns got an extra bullet and they do more damage. I think we should be fine. So I have my ult guns for just clearing grunts, I guess. But eventually we'll need to get a new boss killer. Nice. Right, so where do we go? Hmm. Imagine it has to be in here somewhere. Wow, I actually was standing on it. That's funny. <laughs> that, that was... that. I felt that in my heart, chat. The, the game had to walk me out of where I was standing. That's how on point I was. Damn. Live reflector. Yeah, there's nothing to do over here. Please drop down. Thank you. Oh, there's a door over there. Uh, go this way. There's evidence that someone broke in here. Most would come here besides us. It has to be. I wonder if there's terror. I wonder if it's those terrorists from before. Hmm. Hmm. Could be the Odessa. Dot 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 dot. Let's hurry, but keep your guard up. What's the other door for? Hey, you guys, what are you doing here? Exploring, of course. Decide that when I grow up, I'll be strong like you, dude. You're stupid, Hostarf. <laughs> Turn back right now. You already know, don't you? It's dangerous here. In my humble opinion. There's something wrong about sending us back alone when it's so dangerous. The way you're speaking isn't very cute at all. Oops, I got scolded by an older woman. Then, who got here before us? It's probably those kids. So, what are you gonna do? You have no choice. We'll have to protect them. They'll have to come with us until our mission is finished. Darn, you don't trust us much. In reality, we got this far on our own strength. In my humble opinion, it wasn't our own strength, but the strength of... Hello. Hello, dot 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 dots. Oh, well. Oh, I can still do the search thing. Oh, I was curious if they actually... Well, maybe they are in our party. No, they're not. Okay. 
So wait, hold on. What was the other door for? Hold on. I found I again. I thought that was the treasure room. I would have thought this would have been the main plot. Okay, so there's three. Silverland control, dragon's vein. Generator productivity is not at its established rate, nor is it permitted by the regulatory board to guarantee smooth operation. It needs to temporarily freeze the function of the life reflector. Silverland control ruins mind. Generates productivity. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so maybe this is how we go between the different areas. So I could go to the sacred forest eventually. So sacred forest, dragon's vein, and ruins mine are three locations I could go to from here. Okay. Oops. Oh, now he slides down. Thanks, Gabe. That's why I tried to do it the first time. Uh, well, I see a switch. Here's the operating display. Okay, I'm gonna start up the live re reflectors. What? What? This is so disheartening. Oh, it's blinking. Looks like there's something coming out of there. Is it a monster? Um, okay. Is it like Godzilla? What's that head? Thunderbolt Battle Monster Elabart? Wait a minute, is that Godzilla with like punching gloves? What is that? Oh, it looks, it looks less like that in the other graphic though. My, 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 in my humble opinion, rather than a monster, it would be most appropriate for it to be called a creature. Are you afraid, Vacant? Change the way you talk. No time for that. We gotta get away. It's dangerous here. Bashley. Ah, oh, hey, stand back. And yeah, now it doesn't look like it so much. Silhouette it did. Okay, let's go. Despite your baby face, you got guts. It's not that. Oh, it's very goofy looking though. That is that is a guarantee. We're fighting Goofyzilla. It's also smaller in the battle itself, which I find kind of funny. I'm gonna go for my spare bullet here. Sadly, I don't really have anything to do with Vicky at the moment. I'll just melee it. Hopefully the accuracy ups will help me here. That miss, sadly. Yeah. Oh well, that's worth going for once. We'll do lock ons going forward. Ooh, actually, I still don't have accuracy with it. We'll dango the arm. I love how that didn't actually show me where the attack was. Thanks. Thanks, camera. 10 out of 10 on that placement. Okay, so extra accuracy on the other weapons working. Did he miss again? Seriously? Chatty has like an 80% chance of landing it. That is so unlucky. Oh, come on, are you really gonna make me melee? It's not even that low. Game, please. What a waste of ammo. I'm pretty sure we could have killed an arm by now if any one of those had landed. So sad. <clears throat> like, Bashley's the one that I expect to miss a bit more, but he hasn't missed a single one, I don't think. <laughs> Hello, about Karita. So far, none of these attacks... Okay, I was gonna say, none of these attacks seem to be doing da damage, but that one does. Wow, what a what a failure of accuracy. That's why I don't like low accuracy weapons. I get the worst RNG. So it seemed like it had like 1500 or maybe like 1400 HP based off of the damage we dealt. 
Because we were only doing it in increments of about 300 or so. So if this hits, it should basically just be dead with the arm. Yeah, see, that killed it in about 1400. What a waste of time. Guess we'll try to bazooka it again. I swear if he misses, I'm gonna be so sad. She's back on healing duty, sadly. How did he miss again? Chat, I swear it's like, it, it, didn't I say it was 81%? I swear we elevated this thing's accuracy. I'm getting tilted. This boss battle is taking so much longer than it should. We've missed all but one shot. Like, come on. What is that? Holy. Okay, I'm maxing accuracy on this weapon. This is stupid. I need to be able to do it when I don't have FP. That way I just continually pump out gun damage. I swear if he misses again. Okay, there we go. What a waste of time. Alright, so it didn't do enough damage to warrant me doing anything here. We'll use Rob on the boss, I guess. I gotta make up for all the bazookas he's whiffed. Please don't whiff again. Thank you. And boss fight over. Well, I guess I'm glad I bought extra ammo, because he used literally all but one. <laughs> 2800, Bashley at level 12. A lot of people hitting level 12. Two strength apples. A lot of XP, but not that hard. Sarth says, it seems those guys siphon energy from the power reactor. And we should be okay, right? It's not working. It's like there's no power at all. Is it because of that monster? Hey, not moving? If so, can't we just give it some energy? Well, what do live reflectors run on? Uh-oh. Wow. We're able to get here because of this mysterious power. Hello? What is this power? I don't understand it either, but, but the amulet my mother left me, the medium, the guardian life, the order yuck medium is opening up. Um, posing? Ah. Um. Probably don't pose like that. That didn't look good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't like the way he was posed there, chat. Uh Thanks to you, the power reactor has been revived. But that power, w what is it? Hello dot dot dots. My mother told me the medium's power is concealed. I wonder if it's that. Thank you very much. I'm fine now. Bashley, aren't you in the middle of a mission? You better hurry. Um, but, but... Hey, don't worry, dude. Leave hello to me. Besides, that light will protect me. Getting back to the town of Mary from here is easy. We're off schedule. Civil and ruling family. We can't get there any later. The mission's over. I'll be home immediately. Don't do anything like this while we're still away. We get the message. While they're away, we, the young arms, will maintain peace in the town of Maria. That's what I'm warning you against. But um, shh, I guess. Oh, you're auto walking me here. What if I want to go back to town and restock my ammo game? You think about that? I don't, I don't like that it bro No, let me go back to town. Don't worry so much, okay? You'll make me lose confidence. The medium's illumination will protect us all. It's fine, probably. In my humble opinion, 
hurrying up would be a very good idea. Wow, thanks game. I think we touched this one. I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna teleport back as soon as I'm able. Seemed like a very unnecessary amount of bounces, to be honest with you. <laughs> Should probably be like maybe two or three redirects tops. I don't think we had to go through all of them. Hyena says, and the Verukius is now fully equipped. When considering the energy expenditure for takeoffs, frequent use is impossible. The most serious enemy now is probably financial. For one who is considering making the world an enemy, life's hard. That's because Plutomia's plant is not operating as planned. Proceed with the report. Yes, sir. Currently, the alchemic plant is operating at above 60%. So, we do have extra energy to divert to Verukius. Did he say yes to nobody? Is he ta Did he reply to himself? Why did he start his sentence with yes? Yes, but we still have the Heim... Heim... The Heimdall Gazo? To work on, so it's not over yet. Everyone who sees the black wings of the Verukius is overwhelmed. Verukius, I guess, whatever. It's clear the flights are an effective method to convey the menace of Odessa. Litomia, our most important task is to bring the plant to 100% and do it as soon as possible. Yes, I'll take care of it. You look busy. Or Plutomia? Do you prefer boredom? Care to trade places? Well, how about it, Judebeka? Or Judeca, I guess. Judeca. Hmm, think I'll pass. That's beyond my jurisdiction, so send only fun work my way. Red haired girl who's definitely a brunette says. My apologies for being late, but I have an update. Let's hear it, Antonora. Yes. Group attacking Verukius. Verukius. I, I don't know how to say that correctly, but that's fine. Yeah, red in quotations. Where takeoff has been identified as a unit called the Arms. Did you say Arms? Weren't they used in the demon summoning experiment? Yes. Rebuild Special Unit Arms of Independent Authority was annihilated when they formed. Arms that attacked us this time were not an ordinary unit. No. We should call them the same unit. Huh? I don't get it. Explain it again. Part of the annihilated arms were organized into a private unit. Is that clear? Their non-alliance status makes it appear as if they're independent. We verified the buyers, the low-level nobility. Okay, so it is Verukiasis. In other words, the arms are now a rich person's hobby. Even so, they act like they're the allies of justice. I hate that kind of stuff. It's offensive. Either way, they're no match for us now. There's no need to pay attention to... But they're worth using. They're hostile towards us. We should just let them be so. They're allies of justice. But what will happen when they're beaten to a pulp? The masses who witness this will fear Odessa's power. They'll have no choice but to accept our power. The arms. We'll have them performing plenty of pathetic antics. We've traced their activity. They're off towards Silverland. I've been waiting for this. It's just the job for me. Judeca. Do you disapprove? If so, I can skip it. No, that's fine. Welcome them in as grand a manner as possible. Our enemy is our finances. That's a good one, Kaina. I spoke too freely. Please excuse me. I'm not criticizing you. In fact, I commend your assessment. But there's no need to be concerned. Leave the financing to me. Is it that man again? 
Dot, 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 dot. Not that man, chat. They're doing all this and I'm just gonna teleport out of here. Does the game realize I'm just gonna do that? Because I'm definitely just gonna teleport out of here. I mean, I guess I could find the castle first. I must hurry. Civilian castle's in the middle of the forest. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, where's my teleport stone? I know I have them. Love odd headquarters. And back in the town we go, because they wasted our bullets. We're gonna double check that bazooka accuracy, because that- oh, faded again. I hate when the camera flips. I'm so used to the camera facing out of the town that when it goes back to in the town, I get confused. That's why I don't like rotating cameras, chat, in games. If it maintains the way I've rotated it, it's fine, but in this game it really doesn't. Because, like, the place I have to go to is not visible, do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's just, it's more annoying than it should be to go there. Let's reload, because we wasted a lot of ammo. We're gonna check the bazooka's accuracy again, because I feel like I'm in astounded how terrible- It was 85%! Wow! Okay, more. <laughs> right, chat? Please, more. Honestly, 89% is probably fun. I'll hold on to the rest of our money for now. I don't think it's worth it. When it starts going into the 2000 territory, I'm like, uh. Alright, this should be good enough for now. I swear, chat, if I miss like three in a row with like 90% again, I'm gonna lose my mind. I don't need it to hit every time. I'm okay with like one miss in four. But you know, when I'm at like 80 something percent, I really should never miss three times in a row. I'm sorry. It's just atrocious. This is why I had like the near 100% weapons in the other game. Okay, I don't need to do anything there. I was surprised. I guess I could have gotten Crest Magic. I don't think it really matters. Also, whoa, hold on a second. Look at our stats. Excuse me? I went from 600 health to 934. Wow, that was that was the level up chat. I know I went up two levels, but damn. Nothing like almost eclipsing my previous health total. Maybe I should just go rest at the end. In case we have a fight leading into the castle or something. Plus, I want to explore the overworld in the other place, so I guess it's not the worst thing to do. Levels feel weird in this game. Yeah, they're very... They're very interesting so far. Okay, I'm gonna hold up, even though that goes against all my instincts. We're gonna go ahead and use the inn, I guess, which is on the other side. And I might as well get more spells. Yeah, like 10 per night is just an easy full restore. I have no reason not to do this. It's like they're not sure if the scaling should be 1 to 20 like a D&D or 1 to 99, so many RPGs. Yeah, so far, so far the last couple of levels have completely eclipsed the prior levels. It's kind of ridiculous. Granted, we have the HP ups. Oh, we can finally do more spells. Um, what am I gonna prioritize here? I don't think I want to revive. Let's get Chris for elemental coverage. Win physical up. I guess we'll get the elementals and then I'll get defense up. I feel like defense up is gonna help us more in boss fights, but we're not. We don't need that for casual travel yet. Let's get these. So we're down a spell slot, sadly, but we have almost all the basics out of the way. Like if we're in for like a like the, the the super bosses or whatever, I imagine defense up will be useful. But right now the enemy damage is okay. 
I haven't seen anything that's made me think otherwise. Maybe the closest was the guy in the mountains. But otherwise, if they're only doing 200, I don't think I need to worry about stat boost too much. Could eventually get Kurt weapon permanently. Probably be my next one. So mostly just want to DPS my brains out. I need to really sit through this every time. Oh, I could skip it. Oh, thank you. Oh, small mercy. It's not like Wild Arms 1 where I had to sit through that. Alright, small mercies, chat. There are some skippable cutscenes in this game. Guys, right, so let's explore the overworld and then we'll go to the castle. Imagine the castle's probably like, I don't know, like right here. That's close. I don't have to go there yet. I'm not finding any items yet. I'm mostly looking to see if there's just like weapons or something in the overworld. We'll eventually get attacked, but I'm not worried about it. Love the game is trying really hard to have combat with me. Oh, we found something. Duplicator. Hey. I didn't write down where we could use it, but we got it. <laughs> so that's kind of the key to unlocking things later. So yeah, I think we had one room earlier we could have gone into, maybe. So that's good. Duplicators are back in this game. Okay. I didn't see what that was. I think that was a one coin thing. Yeah. So we have five continues, but I don't think it really matters that much. Check the beach out real quick. Up in there. Imagine we'll unlock more locations in a little bit, but... Mostly just wanted to go to the stretches of land to see if there's anything there. Also, I'm really surprised we've avoided this many encounters, to be honest with you. Not seeing anything there. Now I don't have to do this on the way back, at least. Something of interest there. Could check over here. Hmm. Oh. Five Gelo acquired. That's not worth it. Why only five? Everything costs like hundreds. I can't even buy anything with that, I don't think. That's terrible. It should have been like 300 at least. It doesn't have to be like 5k or whatever, but it's kind of a sad amount. Fine, I'll get into one combat. Are you happy, game? Oh, are you? Oh, okay, or you know what? If you don't want to prompt me, that's fine. I'll skip it. Ashley says, I've come bearing a royal letter from the King of Miria Buell. Hmm. Mina Silverland says, I'd heard the rumors, but I had no idea. A fighting force with no allegiance to any country. Very interesting indeed. It does seem like an effective way to counter Odessa, which also operates as a separate entity. And yet, I don't think I can accept what is written in this letter. I cannot so easily allow free access to our country's live reflector. If you have arms or permission to come and go as you like, people might come to doubt their security. After all, why should I consider you of arms any different from Odessa? Your Highness, you see... I know, I know. You want to defeat Odessa, as it says here. Ashley dot dot dots. It is only reasonable for the powerless to fear the powerful. And no guarantees that you will not begin acting like Odessa once you have free access to my country. You see my point? I, I see. I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot accept your proposal. Please convey that to the king of Maria Buell. 
along with my greetings. Oh wait, it was actually Sir Valeria who proposed this, wasn't it? Only he could have come up with an idea as novel as an independent fighting force. Please tell him to come visit me with his lovely sister, not arms. Thus wishes the Queen of Silverland. Why did she speak in the third person there? I understand, Your Highness. I have an emergency report. Oh, oh, please forgive me, Your Highness. Never mind. What's so important? Oh, yes. There's been a terrorist attack in the civil and town of Helmets. Reports suggest it was the terrorist band. Odessa. Your Highness. She dot dot dots. Even if we put out a call to arms now, our knights won't be able to assemble in time. Well then, shall we see just how fast our independent fighting force is then? With pleasure. Let's go, everyone. When we meet such grave danger, nothing should keep us apart. That's the obvious conclusion now that I think about it. I wonder if it was I who forgot that true strength comes from joining together. But... Your Highness, is something the matter? No, nothing. So, what did you think of them? They seem very honorable to me, Your Highness. It's on no signs of ulterior motives. I believe they're simply acting for the common good. I believe you are correct. They're indeed honorable, and their desire to protect Vilgaia is genuine. They definitely won't be looting the castle as soon as the cutscene is over. Why is she inner monologuing here? Well, anyway, inner monologue again. Of course, that is also part of what makes me nervous. Sure. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll talk to the guards. It's a messenger from the foreign state. Please be polite in audience with your, with her highness. Yeah, whatever. Not about conquering the world, but they won't happen as long as we're around. They're, if they try anything in spite of us, we'll just have to show them the error of their ways forcibly. I charge you with the town of Helmets. It's, it is the town east of Silverland Castle. We'll follow as soon as preparations are complete. Okay, so now we know where to go. Still not used to fighting forces with no nationality. Miriam Bulo certainly is strange. Just acquiring provisions, that's true. Uh... Did the music get stuck? Rip music. Oh no, chat. Just earn. <laughs> See a book entitled Two Seas. Do you want to read it? Sure. Two Seas exists in Philgaia, the Inland Sea and the Outer Sea. I mean, I guess... <laughs> I guess I'll just briefly mute the game. Don't mind me, Chad. I just have the sustained horn for a little bit. It's quite something. This is because Filgaia is circular is circular in shape. Then Lin Sea is enclosed by land, joined to the outer sea by a shoal. Arrival from Peruti, yeah. As the name implies the outer sea encircles the land. Part of the Great Sea is rendered impassable by the gate bridge. You know what? Let's put on some music. That's for Chad. This results in the creation of a second Inland Sea. I mean, I'll listen to the Buong, because I unfortunately can't turn that off on my end. See a book entitled Cosmological Concerns. It's my reading tone. Let's read it. The world we see about us is not the only one that exists. It is but one dimension of many. The world is not singular. There are other worlds which exist parallel to our own. Oh no. Parallel universes. Don't introduce that in this game. See a book entitled The, Distri the Districts of Silverland. Sure. The Kingdom of Silverland is divided into three districts. The first is the Home District, where Silverland Castle is located, and contains farmland. The other two are far away, so live reflectors serve as transport. One of these is the large island of Holst, which contains productive mines. The other is located in volcanic regions, so remains unpopulated. Part of Silverland in name only. Yeah, I hope we don't do multiverse stuff. Well, there's a very suspicious book I'll hold on to for last. See a book entitled Days of Peace. Let's read it. People of civil land possess an abiding desire for peace, so peace has long been maintained. Because of this, most knights in the military have never seen actual combat. Since they believe so strongly in peace, many civil landers question the necess necessity of the knights. The knights are symbolic. 
Try this again. Even if the knights are symbolic only, that itself is a testament to Silverland's abiding peace. See book entitled Excavation Country Desert Region. Let's read it. Northwest of Silverland lies a huge desert where the kingdom of Slayheim used to be. Civilization possessing highly advanced technology used to exist there, the legends say. Does that mean the epic guitar we got last game has a chance of coming back? Maybe. Supporting this legend are many weapons excavated from the area utilizing lost technology. However, international agreement now forbids further excavation and regulates already excavated items. Let's push the very suspicious book. See book entitled The Southern Country Civil Land. Yes, let's read it. Lemon is a beautiful castle surrounded by bountiful nature. The country is blessed with fertile farmland and its productive agricultural industry. It's known as Philgaia's Kitchen for its food exports. Its people are known for their deep connection to the earth and their warm hearts. Oh my god, Chad, the, the font. <laughs> the font is really bothering me. Do I just kick the book? The bookcase is starting to move. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I, too, take my table elevator down to tre tre secret treasure rooms. Silver harp. Hazel sprig. Blue anklet. Clear chime. So I could get immunity to things. I don't think I actually want these, though, for the most part. Tables are everything in this game. Elevators, beds. Yeah, pretty much. See book entitled The Power of Technology. Let's read it. Analyzing fossilized remains, Guild Galad has developed many industrial goods for export. I want you to know, Chad, I don't know if it's on the stream audio, but all I hear is the... It hasn't stopped. <laughs> it is just literally one sustained sound. So I'm going to hopefully reset this later. These industrial goods have gone a long way towards improving people's lifestyles, but those technologies also have been used for weapons of war. Technologies can be used for more effective killing or for improving people's lives, which occurs as entirely dependent on the user's will. Oh no, chat! <gasps> Things could be for good or for evil now! Confirmed. Bomberman lore is real. Wait, how do I... Oh, I gotta push the other book. But why, though? Why is that necessary? Whatever. <laughs> Just, okay. Gotta get your duo, dual book system. Exactly. Oh boy, so where do we go? There's we We never saw how to enter here, so everywhere is new to us. And ring the bell by pulling the cord on that pulley. But please don't ring it without cause. Can I just ring it without cause? Yeah. It, it went bing. It went ding dong, ding dong. Sadly, nothing else happened. It did not interrupt the solid, solid sustained honk sound that I'm listening to. You're going to helmets, are you? It's far to the east of here. Never forget the visual checks. Okay, it feels like I've gone in a loop, sort of. So many doors. Uh, this might be a new area? Sleeping while standing. Can't guard the castle while you're asleep. <laughs> I wanted to... Oh, it does make a little smack sound when you hit him. We'll have to showcase that later in a chat when we get past the sustained honk. Oh no, now the soundtrack has died. Wild Arms too. Even your soundtrack rebels. Alright, so I don't think there's anything else I could do here. So I guess the castle is a library, a jail. And that's honestly about it. The bell room. Yeah, let's see if we can escape the honk. Oh, a place to save. Sure. <laughs> Just when you know, Chad, this is going. Arr! 
So let's keep going to the overworld fixes it. If not, I'll reset the game since we've now saved. That is a bunch of flowers. Okay. I bid you welcome to Sylvan Castle. How did the castle surrounded by greenery? Aegeus on your neck. Are you guys really members of arms? King Amiria Buell would not send such a person as an enemy. Oops, I just wanted to run by you. Oh, I think the honk stopped. Okay. We've, we've escaped the honk. Back to the game's actual music. So they said it was to the east. Is there anything else worth checking out? Like down here, for example? I know, the honk was real. I'm not finding any additional items, at least. Hmm. It's the only thing I didn't really explore was, like, literally right along here. I did find one of the beaches. I don't know if I checked all the beaches. Let's check again. Yeah, I don't see anything new. So we still gotta find the town, which is somewhere over here. I imagine it's near a beach. It's still worth checking every now and then. Is it like over here? Okay. So I guess we'll go to the town of Helmets. Helmets. This is the town, right? The one that was attacked by Odessa? Ah, oh, it's hard to believe that information was incorrect, though. Hey, everyone, let's break up and start searching helmets. Booty called the town into existence. Pretty accurate. It's quiet, but something seems wrong. Well, what did you find? Personally, this town is a little boring for me. There's no one here. It's a ghost town. Hmm. What's even more strange are all the signs of life. People were here so recently that some of the food is still warm. Traumatic camera angle. Okay, the bells chime in. There might be somebody. Watch out, it's a trap! <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, sure? Whenever I have this much fun, my glasses start falling down. Odessa? Indeed. I'm the member of Coctus. Odessa's special forces team. You don't need to know that, though. Come down from there and face us like a man. Nuppity little girl, aren't you? I cannot grant your wish, for if I were to fight you myself, I might accidentally kill you. Trask, I leave it to you. Oh no, chat, we're fighting Trask. Oh, that's a... That's a big blob. Is it like a turtle shell or something? Poisonous Armored Dragonoid Trask. You know, it's not as big as I thought it would be, and it is kind of a turtle shell. Okay, let's hopefully not whip our first attack game. Dot dot dot. Oh, I can start the battle. Let's use Imperimeter. We haven't seen that yet. I feel like the water monster is probably weak to lightning. I'm assuming he's water based. We'll find out in a moment, though. That did decent damage.
Nice damage. Please don't miss. Good damage. So again, we have extra bullets, so bullet clips are stronger. We'll be fine. He did not do a lot of damage. Hmm. Is he even worth using bullets on? Maybe not, then. Let's build some generic meter. Let's use RJ Chaos. Do some elemental experimentation. Oh, he gets spun in a circle when he gets hit by it. That's kind of funny. It's about the same damage. Saving a bullet later might be important if we have another boss fight. Poison Breath. Poison is kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Oh, I didn't even see there was a crystal to attack. Whoops. Let's lock on to kill the crystal then. Let's use Dango on it. Freeze the crystal. Seven hundred and twenty nine. Did I look at that correctly? It was red text. Wow, Dango does massive damage. Goodbye to its crystal, probably. Get wrecked. Goodbye, Crystal. That did a lot of damage. Alright, well, I guess the weakness is Dango. I'm not gonna bother healing myself, honestly. The damage is not that strong. That was useful. Indeed. Let's do a normal shot here into... Let's Dango him again. Let's see how much damage this does to the core body. It's possible they have different weaknesses. No, nope, that still did massive damage. See, now her damage is useful if we can find the weakness. But I'm feeling the boss. Oh, how did it miss? Game, please. <laughs> 85%. I should not be whiffing like one in three. I'm sorry. It's fine. You can poison the whole party. I'll cure it later. I'm not going to waste turns healing mid combat. Dango again. If Dango kills here, this would be huge because that would save us some bullets and me needing, needing to potentially go back. Another 600 damage. And dead. Oh, Dango saved us money. Two people. Oh, all three characters at level 13. What's your Judeka says? Trask, a specially designed ad type personnel weapon beast. None of your techniques will have any effect on it. Well, enough chit-chat for now. It's time for you all to take a little nap. Watch out, everyone. Something's coming. Can't let it end. Like this! I can hear it from inside myself. You must take the power. Now, before it's too late! It's too late. No! I won't let it be! Ah! What's this? This wasn't in my plans. Ask was blown away. Only one blast from that light. What? Did he die off screen? They couldn't animate that? <laughs> Why? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I, I, the antagonist, saw a Super Omega Death Beam. Trust me, it was really cool looking. Like, <laughs> what was that? I feel like that should have been re somewhat plot relevant to show us. Didn't imagine they could damage Trask. But still, it looks like I could still capture them as originally planned. Also, is the game lagging? I think it is. That's weird. That light. It could have gotten me as well. Weird. Hopefully it fixes itself. Alright, seems fine now. 
Oh no, we're in another prison? Wow, chat. We're living like the JRPG dream. We got into not one, but two prisons so far. Are you conscious now? Ah, uh, uh, but I don't feel well. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Hmm. What in the world happened? I don't know. I was attacked by the Trask. I couldn't move my body. Then... Through a hazy consciousness, I saw everything turn white. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was locked in here. Also, save the world just did it off screen. You have to believe me, yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Let's see. So it's a prison. Darn. Things like this always happen to me. Let, let her stay like that for a bit. It'll help her body recover. Vicky too? I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. But... Did something happen? No, it's nothing. She thinks to herself, that's right, Bashley is Bashley. Wonder what happened to me. For example, maybe for a minute I thought Bashley was you. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I know she's in her monologue. Who is you in that context? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like that made sense. Yeah, the translation of this game is very questionable. But more importantly, how long are we going to stay like this? We got to do something, right? Huh, indeed. Ludana on point today. Of course. Let's start by thinking how to escape from here. Oh, I'm still poisoned. Now I can cure it, because I'm not in combat. Again, if I'm not gonna die mid-combat, I'm not gonna bother healing. Well, good thing I have three antidotes. And a decent amount of strength apples. Let's reorganize our inventory. I was kind of used to the Wild Arms 1 where canceling out sorts the menu, and I realized, oops, not in this version. Um... I probably just don't want him with ability block. Probably do that for now. Some strange contraptions keeping the door closed. Okay. Uh oh, there's something. Silt it just a bit here. It's caught on something. You move parts of blocks and stone images by pressing and holding directional buttons. Oh. Okay. I have to begin my inner monologue with confirming the obvious too. Yeah, Dango thinks to himself, Dango 42 is Dango 42. Did former prisoners do this? We could escape through this hole. Also, did he capture us and leave us with all of our weapons? What an idiot. Down we go, I guess. There we go. I guess that works. Oh, he slides. The slide is brutal, Chad. I'm not gonna lie, the slide is really brutal. Are you really going to make me walk this passageway? Also, getting combat mid-timing puzzle is very rude. <laughs> what the heck are you? Bone Drake. Let's see how they deal with fire. So we've now at least leveled enough that she could start doing things. Let's see if they're weak to fire. 
though. They still die to it, though. So she is used now. I can finally do enough damage to get a kill in one shot. Gilberry acquired. Nice. The weakness is not fire. We'll cycle through. Could be weak to earth, maybe, like you bury them. Lucky card acquired. Okay. I couldn't see where we were going because I just noticed I stopped moving. Okay. Easy enough to dodge the traps, though. Strange contraptions closing the door. Oh, he didn't use the lever? Come on. Seriously? Do I have to be, like, dead in front of it? Gotta be kidding me. So finicky, chat, I swear. Anyway. I'm assuming I did not take that much damage. I'm not even going to pause to check. Uh huh. Whatever. <laughs> right, chat? Whatever. Maybe run past it. Uh, so we can do normal attacks, so it's not weak to fire. Is it is it weak to dango? Let's dango it. I mean as long as it does 200 plus damage, it's fine. But if we can find out weaknesses, we might as well just experiment as we're going into combat. The dango's fine. We're at 1100 health with the Saurus. That's pretty silly. I'm definitely worried our other party members will be, like, so under hit pointed at this point. I was kind of thinking we would have another character by now. Okay, so if I go really far away, they don't hit me at all. So let's run through those. Okay. I mean, I guess I could do the thing to check to see if I'm missing items, but I'm feeling I got most of it at least. Oh, there was something there. I was like, I... Oh. Annoying. Again, this is more of a camera angle thing than anything else. A good diagonal here, I should be fine. Camera, please. <laughs> Alright, so we're making some progress. Wow. I don't know what I could have done differently there. I was running. So there's a doorway in the middle. Do I, do I go to the doorway in the middle? Hmm. Oh, you know what it is. I probably have to chuck a knife at the other thing. That's probably a locked door. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I didn't stop. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. That did look like a switch. Okay. It is a shame I can't use her magic for healing, though. You see what I mean? Like, I feel like magic users got ultra screwed in this. Oh, I can rearrange the ability order. Interesting. I'm gonna put healing first. I feel like that's gonna be our most used thing. So we'll save. If we get into combat again, I might just use a generic heal in battle. And slowly use heal magic once per battle or something. But if it's a boss fight, it's fun. But it waits on the other door. Wow! It said when it waits on the other door is dot dot dot. I hit confirm. And it just stabbed me. That was so rude. Wow. That was unbelievably rude. Not to mention unfair. Oh boy, it's, is it pick a path? What the heck are we fighting? 
ghouls and whites? If you say so. Let's use your healing magic on her first. So I'm just basically healing up for a boss fight at this point. And if I kill a couple enemies in between, that's fine. Oh! So even though she used magic, it didn't go... I Something I forgot to notice. Or point out, at least. So I used a healing spell. But I still ended up with a lot of FP. Did that not use FP? Can it not go lower than your level? That's interesting. Huh. Okay, that makes magic a bit more useful. We were so low level before, I didn't actually do math. But now that we're higher level, I'm definitely not going below 13. But I have infinite healing, essentially. Interesting. So the other thing, reducing costs means that higher level spells potentially need me to be lower level to spam them. Which might not be the worst thing ever. Wow. Is this literally pick a path? What? What is this garbage? <sighs> okay, so that's that's the real path. Is there anything else I should know about? So ridiculous. Oh, that's acquired. I'm shaking my head, Chad. That was so rude of the game. Just because it happened twice doesn't mean there'll be a third. What does that mean? There's a ladder down there. Locked door. Guess I'll move forward for now. Huh? Where do I need to kick this? Uh, okay. Is this a hint as to how many times I have to kick it or something stupid? Does this open it? It says, doesn't mean there'll be a third. Okay, do I do it a third time? Weird. I, oh, what? <laughs> Weird. I surprised them apparently though. We'll do normal attacks. Use our heal magic. Yeah, okay, that indeed. So let's full heal. So I'm, I'm in a pretty good spot for a boss. I'm basically full health across the party. So that's a good reason for me to take combat, is just the fact that uh, I will be able to full restore in between. So let's see, they're immune to Dango, Rob, does Chris do damage? Do you do weakness? Let's find out. We twirl. Where he was on Mr. Bone's wild ride briefly. Another pinwheel. I think it was a giant lever. I was basically kicking a plank back and forth. The candlestick lights will open closed roads. Okay, so presumably I just need to time a fireball. And by time fireball, I mean mash the fire button. <laughs> just want you to know, chat. There is no rhythm. I'm just like, listen. Listen, we're good. Yeah, I don't think I really need to use booty call for the most part. Okay, there's a very suspicious table. There's a ladder. There's a door. There's a prisoner. Miss Kertraff just keeping the door closed. I wish all the villagers get arrested and follow them here, but I'm at my limit. Find that door, the villagers are imprisoned. Even hard to move, but you guys can manage. Help save everyone. Wait, why is he not using the... Why, why is he just not using it? That was weird. Whatever, I guess it wanted me to mash. But anyway, we found the prisoners, I guess. 
These people are... We are the residents of the village of Helmets. You all are... We're not part of Odessa. We're fighting to save everyone from the tyranny of the terrorists. We, we, all, we all might be saved. Will we all get a chance to return to Helmets together? Take heart. Promise everyone will have a safe rescue. Hmm. This guy with glasses suddenly pulled a weapon on us. After that, we were shoved into this dungeon and locked up. So because you're going to help us, can we believe that you're real allies? Of course, so relax. We'll return you to your village with all of you. But traveling in groups this large could be dangerous. Then, I'll go ahead and check things out. Once safe passage is verified, you can all leave together. Oh no. Oh, I'm going in solo? Why am I doing that? Why can't I go with my party? It's where death row inmates were housed and executed back when there was the death sentence? One can't possibly feel safe confined in such a place. Execution area is at the end. Sure way out from there, but you might not be alive. But you might not be alive. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Is this just like pick a path essentially? Uh, okay. Well, I didn't fall for it that time. I don't know what my goal is, to be honest with you. So I just kind of ended up in the corner. It's easier to go this way. Like, is there something to do over here? Sure. <laughs> so I think I just walked in a big circle. Oh. Nice little guillotine hallway there. Nice. Welcome to the execution ground. You finally made it here. I've been waiting. But I wasn't the only one waiting for you. This... How did they get cap- What? How did they get captured? Trust me, I- s Cap- Trust me, I totally beat your teammates off screen. <laughs> what is this? Th this feels like a very arbitrary setup. I'm just saying, what? <laughs> Don't you think it's important to show our comrades getting attacked or something? There's like zero context. Tisk. Vicky 2, Thesaurus. Ugh. Sorry. The villagers we just helped were taken as human shields. They said resist and they're dead. Trust us, this happened off screen. All this was a trick. He plotted all of this. Hang on, I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's not your duty. What? Your opponent is Little Trask. This is the one from before. Only this time I have way more HP. Don't think about resisting. I'll kill your buddies if you do, but the pre pre preparations aren't finished yet. You mean it's a warning? Yep. The plan got a little messed up, but there's a reason I captured you arms people. Welcome, Kirk. By executing all of you publicly, I can rid myself of enemies and also show the terror of Odessa. We didn't kill the people of Helmets when we caught them, so they'd witness the event. How evil can you be? It's something a very vain terrorist would do. Look, even I prefer to take care of it myself, but we have our reasons. I appreciate your understanding of this. Go, Trask, but don't kill them too quickly. Why'd he grow? 
Why, why did he grow? Unless the monster was meant to grow. Bashley! Resist and I'll kill the hostages. This is so thrilling. My glasses are about to fall off. Oh no, Chad is one character trait. What is it? What are you doing? This voice is echoing again. What is this? Don't think. Hesitation is only for fools. What you need now is hope and desire. That's it. I want power. I want enough power to overcome any ad adversity. If I have that, you're just speaking a Tresciola language you'd understand. That's true. Then take a hold of it. Of what? Oneself. This light, it's from that time. Change of plans, kill all the hostages. What? what? Gremlin says, you've reached even the lady's consort, child. You can't do as you please. What? It's the same light. This says the end, the light of the start, but I believe it. <laughs> what? That time I was late. The light is nostalgic. Right, Bashley? Again. Something I didn't plan on. Yeah, I didn't plan on that either. Darn, I can't keep up. Would have been nice to actually see it happen? That's true. Well, there's the boss symbol thing. Hold on. Boss symbol in prison. Boss, uh... So we're gonna need boss symbol checks. Hold on. Boss symbol. Mount Chug Chug. Um, second prison, whatever that's called. Wild Arms 2 is the worst translation, for sure. This is from that time. What happened to me? Oh no, what happened to us indeed? I don't understand. I don't understand it. Yeah, we're very edgy. One thing I do know is... Does he have, like... Oh, okay, whatever. I like his cape floating in the air. I know I can fight. This pain and form are mine. Oh, now we're going very edgy. It's the power to fight. Um... Organic Partic Accelerator Gun All. Knight's Disintegration Blade. I guess I'll use Crystal. Hot Fencer. There we go. Bonk. Did okay damage. We <laughs> fusion with Turtle Bog, it's true. They become Vincent, that's true. They're not doing a lot of damage to us. They, at least this feels like a power-up form that is a power-up, unlike other games we played on stream. <laughs> I think poison's the only thing that will actually hurt me. And we dodge it, well... What should we do a normal melee for comparison? I want to use Obliterator. Or try to study, get a fair fight, and say we got anime protagonist powers. It's going much better than Rogue Galaxy, for example. Oh, that time we got hit, we didn't dodge. Will we get poisoned? We will. Uh, let's use Banisher, let's see what it looks like. There we go. Shoot the chest beam. 2,000 damage. Wow. Fight over, chat. Look away for two minutes if Ashley's a common rider. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it just ended? Oh, that's awkward. I, I thought the fight was over? Well, I guess good thing I have a shotgun. I mean, chat, did you realize there was a time limit? Oops. I guess the other move ends our form prematurely, which is awkward. Probably would have been nice if the game told us that. Fortunately, I still had ammo in our gun. Yeah. That could have been really bad, actually, chat, because our melee only hit it for like 200 before. So that would have been like seven more turns. Yeah, I, I, I wonder if our super ability turned it off or if there's a time limit. We had level 14, mini carrot acquired. 
Force access acquired. Haha, <laughs> it's finished. Okay, so I assume that's our power-up state. I blink what happened, exactly. No, that's wrong, it started. Whoa, my strength is disappearing. Uh, we decided to embrace power and we became, uh, as chat mentioned earlier, a common rider. <laughs> but then I did a super attack, but it also ended our gauge instantly. Even though I still had FP. Whatever. Ashley, what the heck happened? It must mean this guy was chosen by arms. It's not just about power. It's about shouldering, shouldering some burden. If that's not the case, I wouldn't be able to overcome the battles I'm about to face. From now on. From now on what? <laughs> what? The, fi finish your sentence. <laughs> I too just say... You have to shoulder your burdens, and then somebody else responds, from now on, and then just dramatic zoom, pause. Uh, okay. I was most impressed with your actions on behalf of Helmets. By the way, Bashley, <laughs> did you turn into a super demon? Yes, your highness. Are you sufficiently recovered? There were reports that you suffered injury in your recent action. Dot 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 dot. Thank you very much for asking, Your Highness, but it was nothing. I'm very pleased to hear it. We can't have anything untoward happen to you while protecting our civil land, can we? From now on, Bashley does not equal Bashley, yeah, pretty much. This couldn't be. I give you permission to use the live reflectors in Silverland. This is a royal letter to the King of Mary Buell to that effect. Hope I can entrust you with it. Your Highness, thank you. This time, it is I who should thank you. Isn't that so, Sir Valeria? Oh, he was just here? Don't worry, everyone's first time is shorter than they expect? Oh no. Elaine says, I thank you for the cooperation of Silverland. It will ease our labors. Villain. Sorry to have involved you in this unpleasant affair. Let us end it here. You go down below the castle. I believe you'll find someone waiting for you. Thank you, Your Highness. Go ahead, I'll see you later. The formalities for granting you permission to use the live reflectors may take some time. I understand. We will wait. I hope you don't mind waiting for the official papers to be drawn up. Guess we have too much red tape around here. We can learn some things from you, it seems. I guess I'll try just going back inside. You go ahead first. I'll follow soon. Thank you for coming. Heard of your many exploits. Expect to hear more yet. There we go. Item check. But more importantly, we're now a whole level above people. So we have more HP than everybody. So sadly, Thesaurus' speed is very low. Our attack is decently high with Bashley. I kind of want to hold off on the apples until we get our full party. And then I'll decide who I like from that group. And we'll proceed. One day. We'll get the slide that I'm looking for. That'll work. Oh. We were waiting for you. Sure. That's funny. They just look like normal people to me. They're the heroes who saved us. They're more powerful than they look. Heroes? Us? Of course. Is anyone else around? I heard you were magnificent. I have a single son who's just about your age, miss. You aren't single, are you? pretty scary looking. I'm glad you're on our side. 
Heard a rumor that a mysterious black knight appeared. Did you see it? Uh, j just wait a second. I'm so glad you're all safe. There's nothing more arms could have hoped for. You're a great aid to us in a dangerous time. I trust you will continue to fight the terrorists. Of course. There's no one but arms to stand against Odessa. Hmm. I would like to check out the other town at some point. The scout's report is in. Did you Becca succeed? No, he has failed. Destroying the arms isn't so simple. It appears not a single person was killed. Our casualty li list reports Trask, the anti-human monster, is demolished. Trask was impossible. It's impossible. Their power can't compete. How did it happen? Yes. <laughs> Why do they keep responding yes? According to the report, a grotesque black knight appeared in a flash. High-level energy source registered at the battle location at the same time. A grotesque black knight. So he's the trump card for the arms. Or was he? Judge says yes. What do you wish us to do? We can't let it go. Our operation funds. Secure energy for the Heimdall Gazo. Then there's the arms gaining influence. We've got problems. The secret evil society is so terrible. Ha ha ha. You must be joking. Oh, <laughs> it's such awkward dialogue. With Kaina's demon summoning, our forces could grow forever. Our victory is certain if we exert pressure all at once with our superior power. I've always gotten everything I've ever wanted. Power, you, and Filgaia are all mine. She dot dot dots. You have new orders. Execute Operation Guardian as planned. Put a rush on getting hold of that boy. Tonight, I want you here with me. Yes. Uh, so we can use boss symbol at Mount Chug Chug's second prison. Still gotta re revisit the first prison. Three days later. Blinding flash of white light for no reason. Okay. What? <laughs> Did it say three days later and then we're flashbacking? Game pacing, please. <laughs> Couldn't you have started with this and then gone the other way? What was the point of showing me the other scene? <laughs> Hi, are you back for good or are you on leave? Just on leave. I have to go back soon. I knew it. Hey, don't look so depressed. I'm proud of what I'm doing. Cliche, I want to tell you about what we've done. All our heroic deeds. But then you won't have any time to rest. Cliche, I just have to tell you. I don't need much rest anyway. Oh, very well. There's so much to tell. I don't know where to start. We've been through so much. We've seen and done so many things. Hasn't been easy, but the feeling you get when you save someone is priceless. Just the other day, people were calling me a hero. Hero? Yeah, hero. Just what I always wanted to be. Of course, I had help. I didn't act alone. But when they called me the hero who fought against Odessa, it felt good. She dot dot dots. People expect a lot, and that gives me the strength to go on. I feel like I have to be the hero who dispels people's fears. The hero who saves the world. That doesn't make sense. Cliché? Is what you're basically describing really a hero, Bashley? It doesn't sound like one. Sure, some horrible things are happening in Phil Gaia, but does that mean that Bashley the hero has something a has to do something about it? Is the hero just someone who's sacrificed for others, who can't solve their own problems? By naming, by naming you their hero, 
Does everyone else shirk their own duties and just stop trying? If hero is just a euphemism for sacrifice, then no. I'm not happy about it at all. <laughs> Especially when the hero is someone I care for. Now wait a minute, cliche. I... I thought this stone would keep us together over the distance. I thought my feelings for you would bridge the emotional gap between us. But the reality is that we hardly see each other. Now that you're always away, I think of you more than before. And yet I feel further away from you than ever. Tell me, are you still Bashley? Are you still the Bashley I know? Tell me, I can't take the anxiety anymore. I would dot 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 that too. Cliche, I... I... I understand, Bashley. I know you're Bashley. I know, but I torment you because of my own insecurity. I'm horrible. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are, Cliche. No, I'm the horrible one. There's something I have to tell you, but I can't find the right words. It's something that will only make your anxiety worse. Forget about it for now, Bashley. Just get some rest. Why did we just decide to flashback in the middle of the office? You're both horrible? Yeah, that's true. Uh-huh. Hey, Bashley, are you paying attention? Oh, sorry. I was just daydreaming. Still feeling the effects. No, I'm just tired, that's all. Sorry, but would you please explain our mission once more? Well, before that. It helped us back at Golgotha Prison. We also met you in Damson City, do you remember? I am offended. I can't believe you would miss my entrance. I, the behind-the-scenes ruler of all. Gremlin is an authority on lost technology. Ever since we became acquainted through correspondence, she has been deeply involved in arms. Really? Correspondence? <laughs> I mean, yes. Hmm. I guess some people like those things, especially rich folk. I remember you as a little bit more reliable, though. Or will you finally realize that you are the Black Knight, Knight Blazer? Oh, that is... That is an unfortunately bad name. Night Blazer. What you transformed into during the incident. The Black Knight who wields fiery destruction. It's what you... It's what you've been christened, Gremlin. What you have been christened, Gremlin? I heard from Villain that... You are the sole survivor of Odessa's demon summoning ritual, aren't you? The demon who possesses you and the lost guardian blade, Argit Lam, have met. These two powers join within you to... It came to a balance, neither attaining supremacy. The holy power and the demonic combine with your own soul to become Night Blazer. That is another you, you see. Oh no, we're going full persona. Night Blazer. Another me? I wouldn't worry about it for now. You seem to have a good control over Argit Lam. Right now you should concern yourself only with the current threat. Odessa. I've been wondering, but... Do you know me? You seem to speak like you do. Don't you think it's rude to pry into a girl's secrets? Huh? I'm leaving Gremlin in charge of your health. You have no idea what we should do. So we'll just have to believe her for now. There are too many things we don't know. Bashley, I wouldn't tell anyone if I were you. Dot 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 dot. I understand. If that's settled, then I'll tell you about your mission. Our mission? Oh yeah, I forgot. How did you forget? What? I'm sorry, tell me about it again. I'm telling you, it's the lost technology. Those are just a vermin are trampling us in Philgaia with lost technology. So our next mission is to counter their flying machine... Baruch... Baruchesis. Right. In order to take it on, we need to fight... We need fighting power equal to or superior to theirs. Now, do you see? This is where you come in. We must use our knowledge to bring back the newest and strongest lost technology. 
If it's already lost, then how could it be new? I don't think we should leave this up to you-know-who. Hey, you two, stop whispering over there! Well, that's the story. There are two types of energy crystals we must obtain. Agulate and Germatron. Germatron, that's a name. With the energy of these crystals, we can power the Emma motor. Oh no, the Emma motor? Call back to Wild Arms 1 officially, chat. I mean, aside from it being Phil Guy, of course. If this was more modern, I would have said the translator just threw everything on Google Translate, something like that. The less technology you're talking about, it's a flying machine. I don't want to spoil the surprise, do I? I know what to do, but where do we find these crystals? I get like crystal is mine near the town of Holst. Few Germatron crystals are supposed to be left in a shutdown Raleen observatory. I'll have to see them with my own eyes, though. The town of Holst and the Raylene Observatory are in Silverland. Thus, we can use the live reflector to transport there. I don't care which you get first, but we need those crystals. An egregious affront to us who rule the world. I'll take those Odessa scoundrels down a peg or two. Uh, okay. Welcome back, Halvisham. Still haven't gotten the crystals. You gotta get cracking. I will always be youthful, but you humans get old and decrepit before you know it. The Chateau staff will know where the town of Holst and the Rainlean Observatory are. Sorry, but please ask them. Bonk. I mean, if they said they're in the other area, they can't be that hard to find. Talk to him once, though. Uh, so he doesn't have any information that's relevant. How is that not in the doorway? Oh, camera angle. I guess we'll go forward for now. Hmm. Let's save the game because we haven't saved in a while. Oh, that's his level 4 ability? Oof. Well, that's basically never gonna be used. <laughs> right, chat? Big oof. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is the... I, I just like that that is not the way to go. We have to go through the side doors to leave. Unfortunate. So I can get one more spell, I guess, at some point. There we go. That was a good lineup. Yeah, we'll just find the other place. It's not like we don't just find everything arbitrarily by searching rapidly anyway. How are my items at? Do my guns have everything they need? Yeah, should be good. I can restock in the other town that we didn't go to, so I think that's our first destination. Oh. Can't just go down there, I gotta go around. Yeah, we're definitely seeing the uh, translation struggle a little bit. Certainly interesting. Alright, so that is skippable, fortunately. Well, let's explore for a little bit then. 
I don't think we really fought anything here. I kind of skipped all of the encounters here. Because we usually just kind of search spam. Oh, so the prison is here. Interesting. I'll enter the prison once and then we'll leave. Because I can't do anything with this place yet. It does let us go back here. There's nothing to really do here. We'll just leave for now. But eventually we need to come back here. But we need the boss symbol according to the game. Ooh, I just noticed it doesn't mark the dungeons on the map. Hmm. That's a little unfortunate. Bonk. So now is where I want to use Booty Call. Which is a horrible name, I don't know why they named it that. Alright, so they're gonna charge us 30. Which is pretty much nothing. We have an okay amount of cash. So no items in here. See book entitled The Sound of the Ringing Bell. Let's read it. Bell of Helmets was crafted by the same artisans who crafted the Bell of Silverland Castle. The sound of the bell reverberates in the hearts of all who hear it. The bell is the hallmark of helmets and draws people from every land to hear it. The bell rings once a day at high noon, uniting activity throughout the town. There you go, chat. High noon. Oh, we met you earlier. Just came to pick up some items. Never know what'll come around the corner and bite you these days. There's no items in here. Like, I think for towns, it's worth using this. I don't know if the overworld, it, like, even if we could use it, if it'd be worth it, because we're checking everywhere anyway. Although, sadly, it feels a bit weaker than the Wild Arms 1-1. One, one. Just because of the standpoint, this, this animation takes forever, and it doesn't seem to ping stuff off screen. Why me? Why do things like this happen to nice people like me? What those dirty rats be thinking? Dirty rats. You don't care what they have to do to get their way, just so they get it. Those aren't the kind of people you want to be your enemies. Guess it's too late now. Hmm. How mysterious. This was really my great-great-grandfather, so I wonder where he got it. Who had any idea there was a monster inside it? So don't do any mischief, you hear. Making noise here is inexcusable. Uh, so in helmets... We also need to come back here. I don't know if I missed some prior to this point. But we're making a list. Hmm. Look, we'd be stuck underground in the dark forever. Not to give up all hope when you came out of nowhere and saved us. a lot for helping me. When I grow up, I want to be a defender of justice, just like you. There we go. Nice destroyed town bell. This is unbelievable. I'm so glad to come back, but I didn't know this had happened. The bell tower was the symbol of this town. What a fate for it. Black Knight who helped us. Who was he? Is he part of arms? I really wanted to thank him, but he left so quickly. Power up with personal skills. Do I just go for physical attack up now? I think I do, right? Unless I want to get crit up first. I probably want crit up. Yeah, let's, let's go for damage multipliers first, then we'll do physical attack. Um... I don't think there's anything in here I really care about. I guess I could upper magic damage. It's 
let's hopefully crit a bit more. Even if it's just like auto attacks or whatever, at least that would help me with just clearing normal fights. So I don't think it's like a total waste unless it does like literally nothing. What an honor. I've had such distinguished customers. Are you gonna buy something? I'm gonna rebuy the antidotes that we used earlier. I'm gonna get a couple of teleport gems in case I forget to get some later. Never had heroes in the store before. Protect real guy with weapons bought from me. All right, so this time we get a pretty significant upgrade. I should probably take it. We'll skip the next town's upgrade. Honestly, I'm not- I don't even think I'm gonna give her an upgrade. She- she can just stay behind, that's fine. <laughs> right, chat? Like, honestly? Get rid of these junk items, I really don't need them. I don't think I'm gonna bother with armor, since we tend to find armor regardless of where we go. Oh yeah, we don't have one for Calvisham. Hmm. So I think we've used almost everything at this point. Actually, no. <laughs> Let's do... The Cal. There we go. Hopefully we get new tiers of spells, because that'll shuffle who has what. But I just want to make sure people get some stuff there. Upgrading arms, refill... Are these worth upgrading? Feels like the answer is no. Actually, I thought of another name. I'm gonna move Black Spidey off of Earth temporarily. Do Granite Knight here, because that just kind of makes sense. Now I should have a name for everything, I think. But for now, let's do this one. I would like basically all the chat to be offensive spells, but we'll, we'll mix things around. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna erase this. I'm gonna take Mage Weapon, I guess? Feud the Prowl and the Cow. Something like that. So I think now we have names for basically everybody. I need to go in there. Is there anything else worth doing in this town? For us, we haven't found any items. Let's keep exploring. There we go. Finally. Lucky card. Nice. Thought I'd never get out of there alive. I thought I'd already died. I thought I'd be locked in there forever. It's about to lose all hope. So when max crit, then maybe physical damage up? At some point, we basically won't need to melee attack anymore. Memo pen? I'm sorry, what is memo pen? I'm assuming it's a gear. Oh, it gets rid of forgetfulness. Makes sense. It's see the sun again. Had my doubts for a while. Thought I'd spend the rest of my days in that gray dark... Dankness. I thought this said darkness at first. Thank heavens it isn't so. Alright, so we got a couple items. We got damage upgrades. I'm gonna hold on to my money for more arm upgrades. And or for when we inevitably get another arm. I'm not sure where the observatory is. Let's check around a little bit. If we don't find it, I'm gonna check one thing. After that, because they talked about a mine place. One of the warp locations was a mine. Yeah, not 
not seeing anything along here. I should probably get into a battle to gauge my power at some point. Sure, we'll take this encounter. Plus the font, something like that. We'll do at least like one or two more dungeons. So yeah, let's uh let's rob the man traps. Alright, so we do one shot, which is good. Ooh, weakness fire, nice. Check sound. Two toy hammers acquired, and they're worth a decent amount of money. So this fight's actually kind of worth taking. When you want more than a pen to, to fix forgetfulness. Yes. <laughs> right, so nothing around here. I love this very suspiciously thin mountain, by the way. Can't do anything over there yet. But we'll finish exploring over here, and then I want to go back to the warp, actually. I don't think we missed anything, then. So there's no side doors there. So I think this... Yeah, this was lit up, right? Green forest, ruined mind. Yes, yeah, so now we could go here. I also go straight to Dragon's Vein if I want to. We'll go with the mine first, I guess. So we do... So we did get full permission to use this. Skip that little cutscene. So we have a lot of lucky cards for the end of the game. So whatever whatever our full party ends up being, I'm sure chat will enjoy me using them with a couple cards, getting them up to the proper level. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, it's not at all where I thought we would be. I guess that makes sense. So we're just looking for items, we're looking for locations. It's kind of annoying you have to constantly spam the search, but it is what it is, I guess. Okay. Found Holst. And I got into a mandatory battle. Interesting. We're fighting cockatrices. Let's Chris one of them. Bonk. I feel like they're wind weak to potentially like lightning or wind potentially. I figured we'd try the other elements as a baseline. Poison breath is kind of annoying here. So that does burn items to kill this thing. Oh, we all dodged it though. That's good. More money. So I'll go Holst in a little bit. Let's just keep exploring for now. Wow, lots of mandatory encounters so far here. A little unfortunate. That's a lot of enemies. I think I'm going to use Multi Blast here. Let's try... Lightning? So I'm gonna hope the accuracy ups are good enough. Looks like they are. Ooh, got outsped. <laughs> that did no damage. Dead end. Oh no, is this an insta kill? And I kind of look like an insta kill, chat. I don't know about that. These enemies are not fun. Pineapple's damage. Pineapple damage is okay. 
A lot of money, though. So I could potentially upgrade the bazooka more, because that's our boss killer. The other guns are okay. I don't have to touch them, I think, for a while, if at all. Hmm. They're basically in a big circle. Hello, random item. One Gela acquired? Wow. That is what we'd like to call not worth. Hmm. Is that all there is here? Let's blast these. Hmm. Alright, wind element. It is kind of unfortunate that they're outspeeding us pretty heavily. There we go, spin them in circles. Make them motion sick. Ooh, that did not do a lot of damage, but it's still killed. I think that just missed. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So damage-wise, we're taking like almost literally nothing, which I find funny because I've been basically avoiding armor upgrades. I've only picked up whatever the dungeons have given us. So far, I don't think I've seen any crits. So I feel a little cheated so far, but we'll see, I guess. Fire spell seems to be the shortest animation, so I might just spam that as a default. Wow, hitting level 15s and 14s. So we're definitely getting a lot of levels from this. So definitely worth fighting here more than other places. How do I get down to the lower area, by the way? It looks like there's like a whole place I could go to. Oh, there it is. Missed that little path downwards. Because I feel like there'd probably be several items down here. Because it feels kind of out of the way compared to other things. There we go, found an item. Press that too quickly. I didn't see what we got. On the plus side, though, we're at five lucky cards. Oh, this feels like there's going to be a dungeon here. It's a big spot. Yeah, I'm just double checking. Nothing is like literally there. Okay. Nothing of interest there. We'll take another encounter. So fights here seem mostly worth it, compared to the other fights. Because potentially we could just get another damage upgrade. Definitely want to multi-blast these. I'm going to do normal attacks on you. Uh, I guess I could dangle one of them. Yeah, so I'm glad we slightly raised this thing's accuracy, since it's actually been mostly relevant. And she should target the other one. Dude, how I targeted. Good. Get Dango. Oh, they're weak to Dango. Not what I would have thought their weakness was, but today we learned. Yeah, that 840. Basically three fights, and I can do, like, way more damage with my weapons. So we basically have paid for our weapons already. So the money here and the XP here is like four times better than what we were seeing earlier. So I imagine this is a harder area I'm not necessarily supposed to do first. We were here-ish. I feel like there should be something on the beach. 
No? Huh. Well, it defied expectations, I guess. We'll use chaos. We haven't used chaos enough. Nice, more money. I guess we're ready to go to the town. So we now have regained all of our cash. So now it might be worth getting a couple arms upgrades. So definitely maybe increasing the AoEs by a little bit of bullets or something could be useful. Since we have been using it more, because for a while we were only fighting enemies like two or three at most in a battle. Now we're starting to see three plus. Air damage is going to be terrible, but whatever. Another antidote acquired. That's good. It's probably the most common stat assailment we've seen so far. I'd like to not be poisoned. So we'll go to town, maybe improve the accuracy of the AoE weapons. So that way I don't miss. Because I think their damage is fine. We're now in Holst. Holst here was always a mining town. The chaos is what people here love about it. You can mine and watch your back from monsters at the same time, then you're set in this town. Okay, so there's an item store. Hey you, Mr. Traveler. You sure you have enough items? Feel free to browse some of mine. What do you have? Nothing of interest. There's the magic store. There's a weapons store. Hey, travelers, if you don't have complete confidence in your equipment, come shop here. Wait, you're a weapons store, but you sell me armor? Chat, this is where we go. Nice try game. I'm not buying armor. What a waste of money. <laughs> right, chat? No, thank you. I'm taking seven damage from the outside. Why would I ever upgrade the other thing? Okay, bazooka accuracy up. This accuracy up, this accuracy up. Yeah, there we go. Couple extra bullets. Uh, it's probably good enough. There we go. I think this should keep us steady for a little bit. I don't really need the damage upgrades. I just want to make sure that if we restock with bullet clip, we get more out of it. And that we don't need to necessarily wait for Force Gauge in order to do something. So yeah, let's take a look at our total weapons one time. Oh, you can't see it while you're in here. That's unfortunate. And we'll take a look at what it is now. So now we're at 91% accuracy with our main attack, 87 with the ult. Should be good enough. I don't really need an attack up yet. I could take- well... You know what? I'll invest a little into his shot weapon. That's fine. Just boss damage. We'll save money up for Bazooka, but I think this having accuracy is good for us. So we have six AoE clears and we have eight bullets for bosses. Should be fun. Personal skills. We did level. So I guess we max critical. And then she can't get magic up yet. They need to level one more time. Then we'll do physical strength up, maybe? The area around the town of Hulse is also called the Ruins Mine. Unlike, unlike far Damson City, they don't mine ores, but energy crystals stored in ruins. So now we have a lot of ammo for bosses. We save money by just not needing armor. So I would rather have like four extra bullets across all my guns than take less damage. Mention mine with their muscles, not with no stinking TNT. What have those weaklings in my inn? 
Probably booty call in this town. Hmm. Oh, I thought something lit up for a second. You say there's lots of crystals in the ground under holes. All the men say they have lots of fun digging for crystal and killing monsters. All the men? Let's don't say the word men like that. They say the whole vein of crystals is connected to deep underground with ancient ruins. That's why energy crystals are there in the first place. Sure, sure. Hmm. Uh, so let's see. So we're here. I just want to make sure it's not something stupid, like I was out of range, the other ability. Uh, I don't see anything new. I'm not entirely sure if it goes as far as the graphic for checking stuff, this is what I'm getting at. Right, so there's a little house over here. Just recently, some maniac merc came running around to hope make it rich in a hurry with some explosives. But he could do anything with enough explosives. He even exploded some in the inn. Got kicked out of it, of course. That's why everyone calls him a maniac. Heck yeah, I feel like there was something in here. We were going by too many barrels, and the game loves putting stuff in barrels. Nullifies petrification. I don't know if we need that yet. The angle mineshaft stretches out from the middle of Holst. There's some angle light there to be mine, but not much. The book entitled Ruins Called Mine. Let's read it. At present, many ruins are being discovered in the mountains that are being mined. The old civilization was adept at extracting and refining crystals. We're all under ruins now. Thus, we are rapidly approaching the point where the ruins won't yield any crystals to miners. Okay. Let's see. However, since these crystals are already refined, they're up to 100 times purer than the natural kind. Many mines have closed recently, and more face the same fate. The new mines seem to be developed. Ah. Oh, I can't sleep in any of the beds. That's so sad. One day, chat, we'll be able to sleep there. Not quite the, the comfort of table. What's the point of what's the point of this area? It doesn't even lead anywhere. I feel like I'm actually being trolled. Okay. We learned there's a bomb maniac, which I feel like is the game's very unsubtle way of telling us that there's a tool that we need. Okay, nothing to do here. Just bombs were a big portion of the other game. Oh, uh, there is an item in this one. Cool bombs acquired. President Square will place a bomb at your feet. It will explode after a set time. Bombs may be used to blast open wooden boxes or destroy walls that already have cracks in them. There we go, Chad. We have become Bomberman. However, we will be using the tools for evil. Exactly, bomb for evil. Ooh, music shift. Goodbye, wooden crate. I feel like I murdered you for no reason.
Oop, random encounter. How many bombs do we have? Infinite, apparently. So I guess I'll do normal attacks for now. We're fighting giant enemy crab. Uh, do you think... Let's try to fry the crab. And we'll try thunder after that. We don't have earth magic, I don't think, yet. So I'd like to try that at some point. Sorry, giant enemy crab. Nope, not weak to fire. Cash is okay. I think outside we got more cash. But hey, this is gearing up for potentially a big bazooka upgrade later. Oh. <laughs> Just walked off the ledge. That time I saw it, that wasn't the game, like, surprising me. I just... This was like, oh, I could just walk up to it, and I'm like, oh, right, you just fall off stuff automatically in this game. Um... I guess I could freeze... Let's do... Actually, let's do lightning first. So we should just outspeed them. Ooh, we didn't kill because we low-rolled. That's unfortunate. Okay, they are weak to lightning. Checks out. See, we've already gotten enough if I run a fixed accuracy on another weapon. But hopefully the extra 6% means I stop whipping randomly. <laughs> hopefully. Take a couple crystals. Okay. Some healing. Uh, still don't think it's worth using healing on anything. So what we could do, we can melee this thing to death, the Galean, and then zap the crab. Ooh, it outsped us completely. It did okay damage. I mean, 52 is not enough to make me go like, oh, we really should have gotten that armor. Definitely not. But goodbye, crab. So with our magic damage up and enemy weakness, we should be fine. Oh, critical. Oh, critical. Oh, it has a special animation. Nice. Wait, it survived 430 damage. Wait a minute. Wait, that's kind of a lot. Suicide? No, 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 no. Um, it gave us no XP. Wow, that sucked. That is really unfortunate. I guess that was a super rare enemy. So I guess next time we have to just burst it. I mean, it kind of sucks. I don't know how we could have known that. It doesn't look any different than the other enemies. Well, oh well, if we see it next time, we'll focus it. I mean, is everything just weak to Imperameter? I think a lot of water monsters. No, they're not weak to him. Steam explosion? Oh. How much does that do? Not that much. So yeah, so next time we'll actually use our boss weapons on it to try to kill it. Because we did 480 and it, did, and it also didn't die, so it's not like it was just like a light tap or something to kill it. Oh boy. Anything else I could have done in here? I don't think so. Oh well, let's continue onwards, I guess. A couple of heals. Come with those. Try Dango. Nice, got the critical attack. 
So now we're starting to see our critical attacks come out, which does one shot. So that's useful. It does make our animations a little slower, but it is guaranteeing we get the kill at least. They are weak to Dango. Okay, so we got a mix of Imperameter and Dango weakness. Too many water monsters, sadly, so Chris will probably not be the weakness here. But we could try. There's a split. Well, when in doubt, we go left. There's a door and then a small passageway over here, but nothing we could do. Oh, okay, that was the bonus area. Another crust, nice. More heal berries acquired. So we have a lot of inventory healing if I really need it, which is good. Or if we get into those weird 1v1s again. Oh, look at that, our health's almost completely restored. So we're at 1219. Okay, so it was healing Ashley for at least 13. So I think it's partially based off of our health total. So at least that seems to scale okay-ish. So, like, if I run across those, I'm going to be at near full health. Ooh, super enemy. Uh, Sean. We're going to go Bazooka. Then we're going to go... Oh, no. I'll, I'll use Chris. Whatever. No! Oh, come on. That's so unfair. It went before us. Oh well. Kind of a waste of ammo, honestly. It's unfortunate that it can do that on the first move. So we need to get to a point where we can hit its... Hit it once, and then I think we can win. But obviously if it escapes instantly, I can't do that. Waste of ammo. Also, we healed with the Chris spell, which is sad. I guess we'll just melee. Oh, nice critical, GG. See, critical is now occurring quite often, so putting it at max rank seems to be impacting our odds of seeing it at least. 810 money is pretty good. Again, that's just making sure we never miss ever again. <laughs> so I am definitely tired of missing. We tried to play the odds with 85% and we missed three times in a row. That's all I have to say. Let's do a couple of these, then use Imperameter. Oh, you can scroll with L2, R2. Okay, I could probably do that for faster menuing. So with- oh, see, if we don't crit there, we don't get a one-shot. Which is unfortunate. So here we go. We're learning some enemy weaknesses. So it's good that with the minimum FP, it does make the mage a little better. We love XCOM hit percentages. It was pretty bad. The triple whip on Bazooka on the boss in particular was actually heinous. Are we at max health? Yeah, we are. I don't even need these. Like all these random pits stopping me from just running in a straight line. How rude. Lots of encounters I don't seem to be able to run from, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, no critical. Unfortunate. So yeah, magic critical will be less useful as it goes on. But for the early game, I think I'm okay with it, randomly doing more damage. There'll be times where I just want to potentially build to like 100 meter at the end of the game. So that way I can go into like the super form of the protagonist, for example. I could see myself still using it to some extent. Oh, we found the safe already? Huh. Okay. Let's save. I feel like at least one character is due for an upgrade, maybe two. We haven't had a new weapon in a while, for example. Well, mine chap ruined mine up ahead, sure. We'll flip the switch. We'll 
open up the gate. Before we do that, let's check to see what's on the other side, just to make sure there's no hidden walls or something I should be aware of. Oh, there's an opening over here. Hmm. Okay, well then I'm gonna go this way. What are you? That is the leprechaun. Japan, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have a little talk. That that's not what a leprechaun looks like. I'd just like to I would just like to state Mysterious power prevents you from using stuff. Oh, Holtz machines. Maybe it's from the leprechaun, because leprechauns are notoriously known for preventing technology from working. It rams me with its leprechaun horn. 540 damage? Wait a minute. What is this? Uh... Uh, I think we found a boss. Well, I better heal after this. Boy, oh boy, would it have been nice for critical to activate there. Let's build more meter. Let's have you heal so you don't die. Oh, it went first before me. This is bad. She might actually die here. Well, I got confused. I mean, we're doing some damage to it, so it's not like we haven't hit it at all, but it's not good. The confusion there is really bad for us. Oh, we hit the right target. That's good. Uh, I'm just... I don't even... I don't even think I'm gonna do anything to cure it. We're gonna believe in the RNG. We dodged again. Critical. Oh, or he targeted her with critical. So she's ultra dead then. Wow. Thanks, game. I thought he dodged it, but apparently not. Well, this sucks. I don't really want to use Revive Fruit by Electricity. If I get injured again, I will use it. Sorry, Vicky, you're not getting XP. You were cheesed out by the enemy going first and confused. I mean, at this point, Vashley might actually get to a super form. Yeah, let's, let's actually activate a super form. Yeah, this thing is definitely... Uh, I'm condition greening, apparently. So let's activate our super form. Please get a critical. Nope. We can only hurt our allies. So this should work. I'm gonna heal next turn in case. There we go, chat. Mid transformation. Oh, the music changes. Nice critical. Critical is actually crucial here. We need to do as much damage as possible. Order 35. That did four times the amount of damage, by the way. Let's try to heal here. Hopefully he doesn't die. Oh, please don't confuse him. Please don't. Thank you. Okay, big damage time, hopefully. Okay, he should be out of kill range. Focus on damage again. Let's use a special ability there. Sadly, we don't have Vicky to do magic damage, because she got absolutely cheesed by the enemy. You know... Alright, chat, you know... You really gotta keep confusing the character that criticals are team members. Oh, this is so bad. I'm gonna die. I feel like I'm about to game over here. Yeah, this is really not good. Please stop targeting the other character. Come on! Stop! This is horrible! Oh my gosh! I was at full health when I entered this fight as a reminder, by the way. Please just keep spamming. Please don't get critical. If he criticals, I'm dead. Come on! Come on! This is so- I might get a game over here because I keep critting myself. You've got to be kidding me. This is so stupid. Critical was a mistake, chat. Holy. 
This is so unfair. Well, we got 840 XP. That was not worth it at all, by the way. Having like a full party wipe and losing like four items, absolutely not worth it. Holy, I'm in kill range again. Wow, what a waste. Okay, hopefully these will heal me up a little bit, because that was ludicrous. So now if we get in another fight like that, I'm just going to try to run, honestly. The fight was awful. Oh, and there's one in the mines as well. I'm going to say mines near... Mines in Holtz? Arm AM cluster acquired. Heavy arm used by Thesaurus. And say monster missile unit will launch a random attack against the enemy. Okay. Wow, that was horrible. All random. How come he how come every ally is getting an AoE attack except for Vicky? Man, they are they are hating on her ability to crowd control in this game. Yeah, congratulations. I did all that for a heal berry. The worst part is I might not survive getting back to the save point. Like, that damage they dealt was insane. Doing like 600 plus in the pure confuse. Oh, speaking of which, let's make sure that we're just purely unconfusable. So that way I have a small, small chance of surviving another one of those encounters. We're heading back to the save if we can reach it. I'd prefer not to game over here. Okay, easier enemies, we'll defend. Let's just heal up. She's the least injured, so I'm gonna heal Bashley first. Bashley being a higher level might be good for us. Crab brains? What does that mean? I missed whatever it is. Okay, let's kill at least one of these. So we'll attack that, defend, heal Thesaurus. Nice critical. Like, when we crit, the damage we deal is pretty good. As we saw, it got through their high defense, so it is useful, but it's so risky with Confuse. Become as crabs, maybe. So at least we're above 1000 HP. If Vicky gets healed, I'll feel pretty good. She finally got hit by it. What does it do? Or never mind. That animation apparently was a miss. Go figure. Okay, so basically we should be good to go now. I should be out of one touch territory. That mini boss was so rude. He healed me and then deadly poisoned me. Um, okay. Try to heal again manually. Oh, he went first, it's over. Oof. The Sars at level 15. Good. We definitely need to do more damage against the other enemies. And in my defense, I got the weapons to do more damage. But my own worst nemesis was me, as I almost murdered my entire party. So sadly, all the healing I did on him is undone. But we're definitely going to save, so I don't need to go through there again. So we have another weapon we could potentially upgrade. The AoE all is kind of like Valkyrie slash uh, Kirk plus plus, I think, from the other game, which was really good. I think people just didn't understand it because I saw a lot of people complaining about how it wasn't useful. And I'm like, really? It was one of our most useful abilities. Getting the early AoE is huge. And then knowing what it works on is the other thing. I was surprised. Please don't beat the other enemy. Oh, we're not going to get to go first. That's unfortunate. It's probably going to run, but I'll just do normal. Well, I'll try. I'll try once. Well, it costs 17 to use. That's pretty expensive. And in case it switches out, I'll just amp it. Yeah, unfortunate. Because we don't seem to get XP from that monster when it does that, sadly. Hopefully this kills it so we don't lose any more bullets. Uh, 
Alright, so we're already back up to 9,000, which is pretty impressive. So I guess that mini boss did give us a lot of cash. But going in here is kind of risky. Can I just kick this? Good enough. Oh, I had to bomb it. Plus the rock ex excavator clear area before using. And I guess we'll continue for now. Uh, we'll do some normal attacks here. Let's use heal on him. Nice crit. Which again, if we're in boss fights and this triggers, this is just free damage. Because we're not quite one-shotting even with super weapons. Uh, so we're out of kill range of most things. Nice critical. Bonk, 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 chat. Big damage. So we go from like 180 to like 500 damage. So it's pretty significant. Vicky leveling is good. Again, the faster we can go, the better. So in 17, when he hits level 17, he can more accurately use the AoE damage weapon. We're doing HP wise, pretty good. What is this? I can't kick it, can I push it? It's a block like object made from Asian material, looks like patience is needed to break it. There we go. So what the, the strategy was just use more bombs, got it. There are four proofs of attack, one is a key. Um Okay. Imagine I have to put a bomb. It's a time limit thing. Oh, I really do have to dash in between them. It's kind of brutal. so close. Is there a way to do this faster? Hmm. I hate that you have to kind of like slide there. Maybe it's like this? Oh, pfft, the others didn't even activate. So it is kind of finicky where you got to put it. Like there, 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 there. Okay, there we go. Not a lot of wiggle room with that one, but that's fine. We got through it eventually. So all that for a red chest. This is called Agulite. It's a type of energy. Wow, it's so beautiful. It looks like a jewel. Agulate and Germatron. The two are said to be high-density crystals which supported ancient civilization's energy needs. The energy stored in the ruins was extracted naturally over time. Entombed in the earth, it became a corpse of sorts that has been dug out as crystal. Dot dot dot. People are drawn to light that's strong and fleeting. They think it'll make them shine. Wow, you're so smart. And a bit romantic, too. Agulite and Germatron are used to revive lost technology. One of the measures used to resurrect the deadly weapons created by ancient civilizations. Its light brings destruction. It causes the black wings of death and destruction to flutter. That's why people want it. Villain would... would never do that, right? Oh, Villain would never do that. He's not trying to get it for that, right? I believe power... power itself isn't good or bad. 
believe what's key is the harder the person uses it. Oh no, it is the Bomberman meme. Oh no, chat. <laughs> oh no, is the power used for good or for evil? Except it's used unironically again. So. I think you're right. It'll be okay, right? Agulite acquired. No need to overstay. I'm going to finish this mission and go back. Only evil, yeah, pretty much. I do prefer light from the sun. What years did those two games came out again? I'm not sure. I already forgot which Bomberman title it was to answer that question. This one came out in 2000, though. That I can answer. So we have a ton of money. I might just do one more combat, because honestly, the combat here was kind of crazy. Just obviously not versing the mini boss. Let's get into one fight, and then we'll go back. I'm going to be at 10k. I actually did not avoid many, if any, in this place, because the XP was good. There we go. It's a shame we didn't get a chance to kill that super enemy. Oh, we're surprised, really. Oh, come on. That's just a tease. That's a tease. Mean. That's mean. Wow. No chance. Wow. Actually unfair. You know... This, sadly, I don't think is going to be enough money, because this is, like, one of the only sets of encounters we can't do anything with. Just have them attack normally. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Run around in a circle, and we'll try to get a real fight, or just another one of those. It's fine. I was hoping for just, like, a two- or three-man thing, not literally three- two enemies we can't even kill. Rude. There we go. Am I just, like, really under-leveled? Is that why it's always red? Ah, uh, this should be good enough, then. I want to make sure we could pay for our... What's it called? The bullets and everything else with the upgrades. So this is just bullet money right now. Okay, much better. So I should pay for full restock in and maybe a small upgrade. Oops. We zigzags. There we go. I feel like we get one more on the way out. Again, the money is pretty good here. Alright, let's see if we could go for it. Or if they just instantly retrieve, which is probably going to happen. Unfortunate. I tried, chat. We're just very, very, very unlucky. That seems to go very fast, too. So unless we come back at a higher level, I don't think we could kill those. Or we just have to get insanely lucky. Which chat knows how my luck is. That's probably not gonna happen. Oh, well. But yeah, the enemies here seem to be, like, way more difficult. I wonder if I was supposed to do this one second. <laughs> Because I couldn't escape any encounters, and we fought that mini-boss, which was ridiculous. So if I had, like, 300 more health, it would have been fine, for example. Okay, so we're done with these. Max critical. Uh, I think we'll just go for physical attack up. And for her, we'll get more magic attack damage. I think her damage is actually fine now that she's able to use spells consistently. She had a very weak phase. Let's see, how strong is this? Not very strong. Let's make it more accurate, give a little more damage. Boost Bazooka's accuracy. Oh! I didn't really... Oh, I didn't realize there was a level cap. Oh. I didn't know that was a thing, because that wasn't a thing in Wild Arms. I thought it was just keeping track of how many upgrades we had. Oh. That actually really sucks, then. Yeah, that actually really sucks. Because I would have done stuff differently. Oh, now I just have kind of a weak boss weapon. That really blows. Um, 
Well, because I could have had Bazooka with way higher attack power. I don't know. That seems kind of permanent. I'm going to get into one more fight and then we'll probably stop after this. Yeah, because I was just planning on like maxing the weapons because that's exactly what we did in Wild Arms 1. Unfortunate. Well, I'll still try to live the dream, I guess. Oh, we got a chance to actually fight it. Yeah, because in, in that case, I wouldn't even have upgraded accuracy. I just didn't know. Really sucks. Okay, we did manage to kill it. Yeah, that really sucks, actually. So I definitely messed up leveling. Really unfortunate. So we got a lot of XP there. So there's like 2,500 XP if we manage to kill those. So if we want a power level, we just come here repeatedly. I guess. I'll get into one more fight because we're so close to leveling. I don't think there's a way to undo levels, Dango. There's no option in the shop. I think I, the weapon is just hosed. Because I just didn't know. Nor did the game really tell me that I was that what the cap is. If it said like 10 out of 10 or something on the UI, I would have understood. I surprised them. That's a good sign. Uh, then I'm just gonna shotgun, bazooka, zap zap. This is good. So as long as we don't miss, this should get a kill. So please don't miss Bazooka. Okay, so now we're going to earn ourselves a lot of XP. So that saves us a whole bunch of time. So we might come back here to power level later, chat. Since it seems like it's kind of easy to kill them. Well, anyway, now we can avoid encounters for a while. Unless I want money. So yeah, we are hilariously leveled now. And that took very little extra time, for sure. Yup. Yeah. I thought it was just like a cute way of tracking like how many upgrades you've given it. So I didn't give it any thought when I saw it. What's our money total looking like? It looks okay. So yeah, so I guess from this point onwards, I basically don't have any reason other than to boost attack power. The other character had like a little bit of accuracy, so I don't regret his starting weapon having some accuracy. But the rest of it has to go to power. I would not have even taken bullet at all if I'd realized that. Like, I do think some weapons need a touch of accuracy because my luck is awful. But at the same time, like, on the character with lock on, I didn't need to take that at all. I was just doing it because I was tired of missing without prep time. So I basically took advantage of early game, but now I'm going to be kind of screwed mid game. Because I don't have any power boosts. Kinda blows. So it looks like level 10 is the max, so I could upgrade the attack power one last time if I want to. Yeah, there's no way to undo it. Unfortunate. Well... Oh well. I guess we'll save and we'll stop here for now gonna say you better be able to jump down from there 
So our money total's looking fine. Our levels are hilariously high, thanks to the super enemies. Which were a lot more common than I guess I realized. One surprise encounter basically gave us two levels. I mean, look at that. We went from 15 to 17 in the span between two saves. So I would say from the standpoint, I'm not really worried about boss fights since we got extra levels, and that makes armor even more useless because I'm already overleveled. So let's chat. So really unfortunate they decided to cap that. I don't know why they did that. I hope in the future games they don't do that. Because I feel like it's just, that's just kind of like an arbitrary cap. We literally saw what it was like there before. Levercon is still the strongest enemy in the game. That was harder than most of the bosses we fought today, be real with you. The only boss that even came remotely close to threatening us was, uh, whatever his name is. <laughs> I'll call him Patrocles, but you know who I'm talking about in the mountains. He's the only one that did, like, consistent AoE damage. But so far, he got outscaled pretty hard by Leprechaun. Yeah, that thing disabling our weapons and confusing and doing massive damage was just kind of absurd. So yeah, I think we'll take a break here. I don't really have anything to say other than really unfortunate about the upgrade system. That is very disappointing. I think for the most part, spells are starting to get a little better because I'm able to consistently use them. So we got past the feeling bad part of using the magic users. Also realizing that FP can't go lower than our level is kind of important. So that's that's important to know. On the downside though, we're basically never using our Mystic Arts ever. Because everything costs Mystic Art abilities. So at some point when we can lock on for free, that would be nice. What bugs you about the level cap is easy to reach so early. Yeah, that's because we paid like nothing to get the upgrades. That's the worst part. Like, I, I spent, like, three things in bullet and three things in accuracy, and that was 60% of the level ups before I realized what it, what it did to the weapon. So, yeah, that super blows. So, it's just very, very unfortunate. I don't know why they decided to do that. If they should have had a cap, it sh they should have just capped it exactly how it was in Wild Arm 1. I don't know why they changed it. Having, like, you can't infinitely, like, you can't say you have a certain pool of points and they go into attack, like, they could go here. It's more like, you slowly raise accuracy so you can use them more often, and then you get more bullets in a mix of power, because power tends to be pretty expensive to upgrade. Yeah, just unfortunate. I mean... On the plus side, I don't think this will impact our late game at all, because we're going to be getting stronger weapons down the line. So it's not like, you know, this first weapon I picked up, it rehosed the whole game. It just means, like, until we get another boss killer, I'm kind of in trouble for a while. Which, again, like, it's not going to impact immediately. I'd rather have the accuracy in the short term. But at some point, we need to make sure we get something that's basically all damage. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll just continue to use the shot weapon as needed. Because I don't mind having, like, a highly accurate but, like, mediocre weapon. We had that for a while in the first Wild Arms, like, with the pistol. And I still use the pistol almost until literally the very end of the Like, the very, very end of the game. Just because being able to do some damage on mini-bosses that are mixed in, like, if we have to fight another Leprechaun, I'd rather have, like, something dedicated to the hard bosses and some versus, like, mini-bosses. So having, like, backup guns is fun. And obviously I don't have a lot of setup on some of the mini-bosses, like the Leprechaun was garbage, for example. But yeah. Disappointed. So hopefully Wild Arms 3, if we decide to play it, will be a lot better than that. But, oh well. Enough rambling. I think it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you again for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.